Hello! And welcome. Alright. Had to mute that. So, I usually use my. Oh, great. Commercials. I'm so sorry. Uh, Alright, let's see. Jay's Rapping Barbecue. What's going on? Tri Tip Junkie, what's up with you? Oh man, Arizona on vacation. That means hopefully you are out there with your grills, Jay. What's up? Your cookers out there? Uh, da -da -da -da. Time to drink. It's our drill. What's going on? Holy cow, we got. I guess I'll just let the commercial play. Zardro, how you doing? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Drew, how you doing? Hey yo, Jimmy, Jeff, Big Reggie, Reg, what's up? Barbecue and Bear, what's good with you, man? <laughs> Drew says, hey yo, it's A A Y E, A yo, but hey, works. It's, it's okay. It's just one of those things, you know. Just don't call me late for dinner. All right. So usually I, I set up the live stream on my laptop, but my laptop, you know, today of all days and times is when it just decided to take care of the Windows update. Yeah, fun, fun, fun times. Anyway, Drew, well, thank you very much. Glad to hear you're doing well. Breaker64, hello. How are you doing? Hopefully you and yours are doing Fine. Kirk, what? I'm like seeing like like go again and again like the TVs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, look. Let me move over. Just give it a second. It's about ten second delay. Wait. All right. And then it'll move over. It'll move over. Wait for it. There it is. Yeah. It's liveception. All right. What's up, Kirk? He says, hey, yo, when we making a deer jerky and smoke backstrap, dog. I, I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> Spanky, what's going on? How are you too, sir? Mr. Hawkins says, hey, yo. Got my adult beverage in hand. Rainier beer, tall boy. Mo butter, baby. All right, speaking of drinking in hand tonight, Marcus, where you at? Jamie, where you at? They, they, I won't say called me out, but they asked me if I ever had this Deep Eddy uh, vodka, and I've already put a hurting on the bottle. So, Marcus, Jamie, I'm waiting on y'all. Hold on. If you don't know, Marcus and Jamie are the fine folks from Crimson Creek Smokehouse, and I have my energy drink in the cozy I couldn't find last week, and it's getting ready to go into the cup with the, the Deep Eddy vodka. Steve, how you doing this, this this evening? I was gonna say morning. The TV on behind me, uh, Reg, is because I usually use my laptop to make sure the live stream is going okay. But because my laptop is actually currently installing Windows Update, I had to improvise, improvise, and I'm using the TV so I can make sure the stream is 100%. What's up, John from Four J's Barbecue? Ha. Uh, Jack Hockett, how are things? Got fresh drink, you're eating for you, garden man. Yeah, you know what's so funny? Uh, so there was some deer, it was, it was a, I guess, a foe, and two little deer, baby deer, or young deer, olets, ings, I don't know what to call them. Uh, but they ate up my little sweet potato leaves again today. They, they let them grow for about a week or so, and then they come through and they just eat them all. It's so funny. I saw them in the cameras at the top of the driveway, but the gate to the to the to the to the boxes near my house was closed, so they were just kind of meandering around. And I was like, "Man, I get home, those sweet potatoes are gonna be gone." And sure enough, the sweet potato plants, the sweet potato leaves were toast. All right, Marcus, what's going on? Ah, oh, Marcus, then you did you did you miss it? Did you see it? Did you miss it? He said he just got to the party. Pat Conti, how you doing? Uh, double F, double D, what's going on? Uh, the small whiskey bottle is long gone. William Reed, yearlings, all right, thank you. Uh, I, I don't know what to call them. Uh, tips on smoking the tri-tip, and have you ever smoked the chuck roots? Chuck roots, yes. Marcus? 
Jamie, Marcus, this this is for y for y'all. All right, ask and you shall receive. I, just just to put this in perspective, I picked this bottle up um yesterday. <laughs> uh yeah, it's it's uh, pretty decent. And you know, uh, I saw Jay. You said Tito's all day. Uh, you know, I'm branching out. I'm trying new things. Uh, tips on smoking tri-tip. So I have only ever really reverse here tri-tip, and I haven't done it that often because I don't get tri-tip very. Um, it's it's just not something I can find in Baltimore, and I would say not even in just in Baltimore, but on the East Coast, it's just not a East Coast meat. But you can treat tri-tip like you would a a decent steak. Um, in that if you are going to cook it and reverse sear it, that is definitely a way to go. I wouldn't try to, to smoke it to completion though. I, I just don't think, like you have to sear the outside of that. I, I truly need to sear the outside of that. So tonight I'm com I'm trying to combat the, 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 usually when I drink liquor, I get tired and start yawning. So we have a energy drink in the, in the, the cozy I couldn't find last week. And... The, the Deep Eddy Vodka. E. Halsley, how you doing this evening? Dear me, I burned that topic, how do you smoke Bambi? I have no idea how to smoke Bambi. That's one of the things I actually need to learn how to cook. Pet, I am good. Um, that going to brown, well, nothing wrong with that. Grilling in the rain here in Canada. Well, hopefully, all goes well with your cook. And you know you don't get rained out we actually had a whole bunch of rain earlier today this evening like I was a little worried there might be some flooding in my neighborhood but it didn't it kind of blew over and you know that was that I was talking to Canada up there all right uh, Kirk is on a family vacation enjoying time off yep 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 so I didn't post any pics of my working on the grill wow it happens Quester J how you doing John says, I found tri-tip at my local Publix. Well, there are no Publix up here, man. Dude, so there is one restaurant depot that I can find tri-tip, but it is like 7 or $8 a pound, and I have to buy like, I think the smallest package I was able to find was like 13 to 15 pounds was the smallest one, and normally the packs are closer to 20 pounds. Double congratulations, Jay. All right. Uh, grilled and elk rolls, but would like to do some venison. All right. Mr. Hockett, how prevalent, Jack, how prevalent are deer out there in the Pacific North, Northwest? You drink some old, bur uh, old, rather like old English? <laughs> Man, I drank enough of that when I was younger. Uh, shout out to uh, Kiki. She loves me. Well, thank you, Kiki. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I'm, it is taking everything in my being not to go there with the, you know, with the Drake. All right, everything in my being. Is it worth to build a smoker myself or ready made? Um, that depends on your budget and your ability. Um, I want to try cow tongue. Cow tongue is actually pretty good. Um, cow tongue, to be completely honest with you, it just like when you like if you smoke cow tongue, it will turn out just like a roast beef, and and it is, it it's got a slightly different taste that that you know you're not cooking roast beef, or like a chuck roast or something, but it it's very similar, very similar. Uh, all right, so Jack says they have two types: white tail and mole mule deer all right i'm like mole mule deer all right i just didn't know like if elk and i don't know i don't know if moose are prevalent in that area versus deer um but we have white tail and then we have another deer around here uh mainly i think on the eastern shore actually it's called sika i've never i don't think i've eaten sika Though I've been told that Sika, if you're going to eat uh, deer, Sika is the one that you want. Tom Horseman, what's going on? Checking in from the, what is it, the, the Land of Grills, you say? He definitely has a lot of grills. 
Uh, bear season, elk, single spike areas, and deer season. All right. That is what's up. Ever smoked a wild hog? No, sir. I've never, no. Nope, 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 no wild hog. I don't live in a area prevalent to wild hog. What's up, Luke Alamadas? How you doing, sir? He says, hey, yo, Dash, good evening to you, sir. We'll right back at you, sweet Lou. Uh, Casey, shout out from Fort Worth. Glad to see you keep pushing uh, strong with videos. Always inspirational. Well, Casey, I appreciate that. Um, all right, so Kirk says, bingo, Sika, smaller deer, sweeter meat, and the whistling deer. Okay. All right, Tom. <laughs> Checking in from the land of grills. If you guys think I have a lot of grills and cookers, you definitely need to go check out Tom's channel. Last I heard, he's got like as many grills as he is old, and he's like 49 or 50. <laughs> uh, William Lewis, what up with you? He says, what up, Dash? Good evening. Well, good evening right back at you, sir. All right, so we've, we've kind of covered the introduction and the say hello to everything, everyone. Lucas, cheers, brother. That cooker looks like a fun time. You got a lot of real estate there, my friend. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I, I, well, real estate period or real estate on, on that particular cooker? Which one is it, Lou? All right. Tom says 58. Is that 58 years old or 58 cookers? Tom, probably both. He probably gets one. He, I know for sure he's gotten two since I've been following him in the last six to eight months all right so question j says wouldn't mind learning to grill liver Ugh. i mean really the rich flavor says hello everyone well right back at you man how you doing all right now everyone said hi go smash that the thumbs up for our boy hey if you haven't already Hit that thumbs up button for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you are on mobile, actually, look, I might be able to show you how to do it on the TV. Wait, I don't know if I can because I'm not signed in. Let's see. So I, I'm looking on the TV and hopefully you can see there's a button for live chat. But if you go to the more, you can hit the thumbs up if you're on the TV. How about that? And we'll go ahead back and I will turn back around and pay attention to you guys. So hopefully you guys at least can hear that. If you, like I said, if you're on a TV, that's how you do it on the TV, get to give that thumbs up. And if you are watching on mobile and you have the live chat going, if you back out of the live chat, that's where you can find the thumbs up button and you can give me a thumbs up. Like I said, I always, I always say, it really does help me and make me feel better about doing these live streams as well as it helps these particular videos and it goes a long way to help my channel. So I'm just going to thank you in advance. Uh, all right. So Lou says he was referring to the cooker, but I'm jealous of your ginormous yard as well. Uh, yeah, that's until you got to maintain it, man. I got to go get money to pay the, the guy that cuts my, my grass. Uh, Jamie says, I'm here. I saw cheers. I'm enjoying uh, you with my own deep Eddie ruby red i have i saw that one hold on all right cheers i feel like this is gonna be gone by tonight this is yeah yeah i, I need to find i don't know <laughs> kirk says kirk kirk and i agree this is why we are friends kirk kirk says there's nothing there's nothing i guess i guess let's just say there's nothing that can be done to make liver taste even remotely edible. I agree, it must be a generational thing, Kirk, uh, because the generation slightly above mine, they fall out over liver. Onions and liver, or liver and onions, however you wanna, you know, put it. Mm-mm, not, not for me. Cluster uh, <laughs> Jason's dash has a twin. I do. Though my twin is more handsome than I am. Uh, always yes please teach me how to grill up some octopus never did it it's on a list so Lou you know what I've seen people grill octopus and it's one of those things where it's just a it seems like it's a simple hot and fast type cook uh, it doesn't seem too complicated I think one of the things that people 
um, so there is a, and I can't remember if it was like Tasty or Epicurious or mm -hmm. there were there was some channel on YouTube and they had a, a segment where they not a segment but a whole video dedicated to filleting and cutting up uh, every piece of seafood. Epicurious? Yeah, you can't say Epicurious. I forgot which would say. What am I getting ready to say to you? Okay. Are you getting ready to use those cups again for more pistachios? Because you can. Ah, uh, yeah. So you can put them on the counter. I'm sorry. I have to talk to taste test number one. And talking about why wouldn't you keep them both? If you're just using them for pistachios and pistachio shells, you should get a marker and write your name on it. That would be the ultimate way to, to make sure you get that same cup tomorrow. Just trying to be responsible. Reducing, reusing, and recycling. The triple R's. Anyway, my bottle is now recycling too, no shame. I <laughs> know, where is it, uh, Jamie? So, Lou, if you haven't already, seek out, uh, I believe it's Epicurious. Uh, there is an Epicurious video, and it's like a half an hour long. And he fillets like all different types of fish. He cuts up like as opposed to filleting salmon, he actually cuts the salmon into steaks, octopus, um, squid, you name it. He took care of it. This dude was definitely like a fishmonger extraordinaire. And he explained everything and told you how to do everything when it came to seafood. And they have one of those videos for like all types of stuff, all types of stuff. Uh, I think next week is covered dash. All right. Well, thank you very much, Jimmy. Quest J says, I heard grilling liver is the bomb. Yeah, like as in the bomb, it'll blow up your grill and you never want, I don't know. Who says, I'm an adventurous eater. I eat anything when people ask me what I don't eat. The answer is liver. <laughs> I can I can I can put on I put a few things on that list. So I choose not to eat pork. Um, you know, again, it's a health reason thing. But I do occasionally, like if I'm with the last cruise we were on, we did a chef's table thing, and um, at the chef's table, one of the things that we had, I was like, listen, if they put pork in front of me, I'm trying it because I'm trying a whole bunch of new things, and what better way, right? But liver, coconut, okra, those are like top three that I just uh, nope 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 and I am pretty adventurous too I am not the Amer a typical American when it comes to eating uh, rich flavors is liver is gross but give me some fried gizzards and gravy actually I guess I'll add gizzards to that list too John says I love liver and onions Woof. what's going on with the corona in your state dude double F double D I have no idea man I just you know I just live here and get some Jim Beam honey. You can't go wrong. So E. Halsley, uh, I have not had that uh, Jim Beam honey in a while. But I tell you what. Um, I have had Honey Jack and that Jim Beam honey. And they are no joke. Because they go down so smooth. And then all of a sudden you're like. Ah, you, you can't even. You, you hold up the five fingers on your hand. And you know you have five fingers on your hand. And you'd be seeing ten fingers on one hand. Like that stuff. It just catches up with you. Kirk says, man, parents used to love to go outside when they cooked the, the issue the smell of cooking it. It's funky. You have to remove the uh, beak and stuff first, right? Yep. I think the depot has it. No, uh, I think so, Lou. Um, I don't know if they're fully dressed or not, but you do have to take the beak out and cut like where the eyes are or the head. Is. I don't know. I'm telling you. Watch that video. I watched that video within the last two weeks, and I was sitting there like this. Like, totally bugging out watching the video. This dude, yo, he knows his stuff. He knew his stuff about fish. Question J, I'll let him know he's kind of gone already. Macy, yo, how you doing this evening? Want to do lamb shank. Uh, so, I've never done it. Well, I did do a shank. Uh, it was a bone in leg of lamb. So, I guess, it, I'm not sure, though. If the the shank is from the front leg or from the rear but the, I mean a leg of lamb is a leg of lamb um, I, I prefer and actually uh, I won't say recommend but I prefer boneless leg of lamb it's just easier and usually you know they're they're, they're they're in a much more compact package plus I actually prefer cooking boneless meats 
boneless pork shoulder, boneless uh, breast and thighs, because they cook faster. Uh-huh. Grumpus says, hey, yo, what's up, everybody? I know what we're sending you next. Hey, Question J. Uh, yeah, you can, you, yep. Mm, sure. Smothered cube steak and rice. Best meal on earth. All right, I'll, I, you know, I like, see, I'm a big rice fan. So, almost anything with rice. Ah, uh, yeah. Grumpus says, I love the smell of liver and onions cooking, but I won't eat it. <laughs> and look, Crimson Creek says, yes, sir. That's the country, y'all country boys talking about that old smothered, you know, smothered steak and rice and, yep, yeah, uh-huh. Let's not forget about desserts. I want to try banana boats. I saw s'mores recipe. Oh, boy. So, you know, airplane mode, one of the things I was thinking about is there's a lot of people who are afraid to grill desserts. Um, and, I mean, as far as something simple as grilling pineapple or peaches, I have, you guys hopefully have seen when you see me looking or the angle when i'm looking out like the cameras behind me um uh, not looking at the door on the side of the house and you're looking out towards the street there's a peach tree behind me and hopefully you guys have seen those peaches i know usually about this time august middle to end of uh, end of august those peaches go ripe and i will be grilling some peaches i grilled some peaches last year two years ago probably at the absolute latest and I mean, I it had to have been last year. I believe it was last year, and they turned out great. You know, grilled peaches with some vanilla ice cream and a little bit of I can't remember if I put a little bit of brown sugar and maybe a little bit of rum on them or, or butter and brown sugar. I think that's what I did. Man, talk about good eating. Talk about good eating. Definitely good eating. Um, so airplane mode says I've only done pineapples. So yep, I mean. Again, I kind of use th the things that I have. So I have some peaches in the yard, cut them in half, and uh, yeah, and, and that was it. Um, watermelon, grilled watermelon a time or two. And I, I've actually, you know, I don't know if you guys have seen or heard this. There's this big thing where there's, there's a restaurant in New York, and they are smoking a watermelon, and they kind of have it as a meatless ham, or they're billing it as a meatless ham. And I smoked the watermelon, and let me just tell y'all, it is weird. And to make, I won't say matters worse, but I put like a jerk sauce, a jerk paste on it, the um, the backwoods jerk paste, and it was, it was weird. There's no other way to explain it. Ah, uh, Jamie says, uh, grill romaine cut in half, ice cold with the char, and topped with blue cheese, bacon, and honey. All right. Oh, we can add something else to the list. I do not like blue cheese. Uh, I just, I don't. I don't like stinky cheese. Stinky cheese. Nope, not for me. <clears throat> Is that a threat or a promise, Lou? He says he'll be back. Grilled peaches and honey with blue and blue cheese. Oh, what is it with you and the blue cheese? You probably like uh, cottage cheese, too. I can't stand that stuff, either. If I remember, I'll send some pecans. Is it pecans or pecans? Pecans. Uh, there's a bunch on the ground when I cut the grass last weekend. Big cookies on the smoker all the time. Pecan smoke works great. And no, they don't taste like pulled pork. <laughs> so Grumpus, you know what's so funny? Actually, I started to say this and I got sidetracked like I always do. Get it's Me getting sidetracked. I know who to thunk it. But taste tester number three and I actually baked some Toll House cookies, I believe they are. Um maybe Pillsbury cookies out on the trigger the other day uh, we my wife and I went to Costco or Sam's and we brought back a tub of cookies and taste the number three was like can we make some cookies I'm like yeah I said but how will we make them outside so we don't get the inside of the house hot so she's like cool so we put them out on the trigger and they were phenomenal they're just I mean cookies are cookies I've cooked pineapple upside down cake and bread pudding. So, uh, Maceo, you guys have seen I did a dump cake. Um, and I've done cookies. I'll probably do a cookie, you know, we'll, maybe with uh, Taste of Number 3, she and I can do some cookies. Uh, just kind of the appeal to the children's. Pecan. Pecan. I know, you guys are so funny. Pecan. 
pecan. Um, I say it differently every single time. Like it's always caramel though. It's not not caramel. It's caramel. Uh, and actually, I guess I, I say pecan sandies. So my my dad growing up, he used to love those little pecan sandies, little pinwheel type things. Something else I really can't stand. I'm not a real big nuts fan. So aside from peanuts and maybe pistachios. Uh, <laughs> Just, uh, Devin says, just find your channel today and binge watch some videos. Let's see some French dip sandwiches. French dip sandwiches is not barbecue. Um, and, I, you know, French dip to me is a little too close to cheesesteaks. Seeing as how I grew up in Philadelphia, I am not necessarily the biggest fan of French dip sandwiches. That, But I'm completely honest with you. Um, it's just, to me, I don't know. I, I just... Give me a cheesesteak, man. I'm, I don't want, I don't want soggy bread. And I, I, now, will I turn away and not eat a French dip sandwich? Hell no. But that's just not something I'm going out of my way to cook. Just to be honest. Um, but Devin, I do appreciate you, you, um, you, you checking out the channel and uh, really, really appreciate you being on live stream. Careful, Devin. That's how it starts. <laughs> that addiction. <laughs> thanks Kent I appreciate that <laughs> I don't know about that though thanks for the new recipe I'm going to try to make it grilled rum oh yeah okay 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 so again you know officially what you do what you're going to do is that so cut the peaches in half obviously pit them put the cut side down on the grill for a little while uh, you know, I don't cook for time. I just kind of be like, ah, uh, give it a couple minutes, right? You want the top of it to soften up just a little bit. While the top is softening, a little bit of rum, a little bit of butter, and a little bit of brown sugar, and then baste that on the top. And when I say it, you know, you just let it sit out there and let that, that all of them, that, that caramelization or caramel, you know, whatever, all that to happen and some vanilla ice cream. Now, here's a plug for Sam's. Sam's has this vanilla super premium ice cream. Yo, get it, get it. I don't care what you say about Sam's stuff and you know, members mark stuff and blah, blah, blah. Dude, that ice cream is so great. My wife and I have said that the kids can't have it. That is our ice cream. Cause the kids can't have it, it's that good. Uh, Kevin says, uh, smoke eye man, salt on how the barbecue right looks good, just like your videos, cause you're real. Well, Devin, like I said, I'm, I, I am real, I'll be completely honest with you, I'm not gonna be doing any French dip sandwiches. Again, first, because it's not barbecue to me, and second, because of the fact that I am from Philadelphia, and I am partial to the cheesesteak. And I'm, you know, if I'm going to eat a sandwich with steak and bread, it's got to be a cheesesteak. Um, I'm not going to turn away a French dip. I'm just not going to make it. Uh, there's another ebony guy behind. Oh, yeah. You know what? I, I see that guy behind me. Uh, beef ribs. Oh, yeah. I do beef ribs rather uh, often. I don't always show them on video, though. Question J says, Sam's baked beans with brisket is awesome. Ate the whole dang tub cold. Wow. Uh, e. Halsey says, uh, thanks for what you do. My family and I love watching you regardless of your subject. God bless and thank you. Thank you, sir. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, Kiki, right? I hopefully I'm remembering correctly from earlier. So, uh, Mr. Halsey and Kiki, you guys definitely enjoy. Thank you so very much. Uh, I really appreciate the support and you stopping by. Can you do a grilled rib video next? Grilled rib video next. No. Y'all want to stop trying to play with my emotions, Kent? We're going to have to fight, all right? To me, to me, to me, you cannot grill ribs. You just, grilling ribs, just it's just not where it's at, man. You, you got to, you can't get ribs. It, why do I want, I'm not trying to eat a tough steak, man. I, I don't want to, like, have to break my teeth to try and eat grilled rib meat. That's just not something I'm into. No problem, Steve. Thank you. 
beef sausage links. So I cook sausage again. So this is one of those things where a lot of times I cook, I don't necessarily always do videos. I actually had some beef hot sausage today. Um, but when you talk about sausage links, a lot of times, or I find that a lot of times links, sausage links come in a natural pork casing and I don't eat pork. So I stay away from that. But I do have some beef hot sausage that I will probably be cooking soon. I actually have some ideas, uh, kind of like a back to basics type thing, kind of full circle, revisiting some of my older videos and remaking them. So hopefully you'll see something like that sooner than later. So stay tuned and hopefully I can get my stuff together and get these videos cranked out within the next month or so. Tempted to smoke a meatloaf. Uh, now, Meigs, I tell you what, smoked meatloaf, I like it. I do not like and I did not like, I don't like meatloaf, period. I don't. Meatloaf is one of those things where I could definitely do without. But when I smoked meatloaf, it gave it such a, a much better flavor. And one of the other things, too, about me, like my wife, my wife told me this and I, I didn't really get it. She's like, you don't like meatloaf. No, I don't. She said she does like meatloaf. I'm like, okay, but every time I try to make meatloaf, I, I try to make it better. So I put peppers and onions and, you know, other stuff into the meatloaf to, to try to make it better. And she's like, that's what's wrong. And I'm like, but it's better that way. She said, no, she wants a classic meatloaf, which is meat, some binder, maybe some eggs, you know, a binder being like breadcrumbs. And I'm like, yeah, well, I don't put a binder in the meatloaf. I usually will just do like meat, maybe an egg and uh, some peppers, some onions, mix it all in, cook it. And she's like, that's the problem. She said a classic meatloaf, meat, binder, egg, cook. Put some ketchup on top of it, to, and then you let the ketchup, you know, glaze. And I'm like, yeah, no way I'm eating the meatloaf like that. But I cooked the meatloaf and put the hot, the peppers and the onions in it and then smoked it. And it had a totally different flavor. It tastes like a good, like a good smoked burger. Uh, and I enjoyed it. So Meigs, if you have never done a smoked meatloaf, definitely, definitely suggest it. Uh, Devin says I'm late, but I want to learn how to smoke salmon. Smoking salmon is easy, Devin. I actually have a few videos about smoking salmon, but basically salmon doesn't care how you cook it. You can cook salmon hot and fast. You can cook salmon low and slow. The only thing that you have to worry about with salmon is making sure that you temp it and do not overcook it. I found that a lot of times salmon gets overcooked and I also found recently that my wife and I don't actually like the salmon that comes off of the trigger because of the fact that the, it's convection and there's a lot more air blowing around it dries it out a little bit more than we would like. My wife has kind of perfected cooking salmon as well as the steelhead, I'm not going to call it rainbow trout, as well as the steelhead on her propane grill and she'll cook it hot and fast and she cooks it to the point where the, the the skin because we like to get the skin on all right fillets the skin is nice and charred and crispy and crunchy like a pork rind almost and yeah talk about good eating but the the thing is when I cook salmon when we cook salmon I try to take the salmon to about 135 to 138 degrees 140 and you're pushing it you know you're, you're borderline overdone um, on salmon Yep, Kirk, I agree. He says, do it. You won't regret it. Trust me. Grilled green peppers uh, stuff will be good to grill. So, Meigs, also one of the things that I do, uh, I won't say often, but I've done in the past. Now, I didn't grill them, but uh, I would do stuffed peppers. So, I would brown some meat and, you know, mix in. And I, I'll tell you guys in a minute, I'll cheat. You know, I used to cook meals every single day just about for my wife and, and, and kids so I'd come home and I could go get some peppers cut the peppers in half I would brown some ground beef or ground turkey and use like a, a sloppy joe mix to give it some flavor put that inside of a pepper put the peppers inside of the uh, oven and let them cook for a while cover them with cheese then cover the whole thing put it in the oven for a while to let the pepper soften up take the cover off and then let the cheese brown uh, right before I knew my wife was gonna get home and man, talk about some good eating. Doing the same thing with zucchini. I used to do that all the time. Uh, my wife is not really the biggest fan of peppers like that. So stuffed peppers, I only did it a few times cause she was like, yeah, this isn't my favorite. Cause she didn't like the peppers. 
But if I had the choice or if she had the choice, uh, she much rather or prefers zucchini, like a stuffed zucchini over stuffed peppers. But grilling them or cooking them in the oven, you can't go wrong. Uh, you ever get a chance to try the Uncle Steve pig powder yet? Dude, I just got it yesterday. I didn't get a chance to do anything with it, man. I don't, I'm not cooking every single day. I came home this afternoon and I did not do anything. It was too damn hot in the house. I sat, there's the air conditioner and there's the red couch. I sat on the red couch all afternoon. I was watching Designated Survivor. I've been trying to catch up. Not catch up. I just started watching the series again while I was on quarantine. And, um, I'm almost done, I'm in like in the third season. <laughs> was it a girl smoker in your last video? So, uh, E. Halsley, uh, that is a cooker because it'll do both. And I've tried to get away from calling the cookers grills or smokers because I don't want to pigeonhole it into being like the big green egg. That is a cooker, okay? I can cook low and slow. I can cook hot and fast. The trigger, a cooker, the 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 um, the uh, the Weber kettle. That's a cooker. I can cook low and slow. I cook hot and fast. Though I will refer to it primarily as a grill because I'm I use it primarily as a grill, but that's not always the case. Now I have my smokers, Bernadette, Bessie, Vicky. Those are are, are smokers because they are primarily used for lower and slower cooks now if i can mix the medium and do either or it's a cooker to me uh, <laughs> oh man grumpus y'all so funny uh he said i'd like to see you wide up a nice yard fed uh deer on tracy just saying steve says lamb lamb chops goat all right so lamb i cook lamb pretty regularly Lamb is not for everyone, though. Um, and I don't do lamb chops, typically, because lamb chops are something you grill hot and fast. And I really like smoked lamb. So I cook leg of lamb, boneless leg of lamb, rather lower and slower. Um, <laughs> Y'all funny. Goat, I have never smoked any sort of goat. Um, it's just been one of those things where I've never done it. I've never had the the opportunity to. How about that? Uh, Crimson Creek Marcus says, yeah, that dough was just tempting fate. <sighs> Let's not talk about it. Uh, you won't, I uh, promise. It was just uh, messing around now. I have overwhelmed the demand for it to be on the menu. If you got to check out Shorebilly Barbecue, I have tons of pics. Uh, right. Meatloaf equals burger and sausage. Uh, crushed Ritz crackers, eggs, Worcestershire sauce. All right, me, because I get it. It's because it's called loaf. Sleep in and call it square hamburger. Well, meatloaf is stuffed with lobster, mac and cheese, wrapped in bacon. Holy cow. What's up, Lee? Hello, Dash and Chat. Getting ready for work, but listening. Well, thank you very much for hanging out and popping on and hanging out. Devin says, sorry. Uh, we can do it different in Illinois. Uh, my best friend's mom used to bring home cheesesteaks from Philly, where she was raised, and they are the bomb. Well, you know what? See, it's so funny. Um, when I was in Chicago, I it, I learned that you guys you guys don't do a French dip. You call it like an Italian dip or a, uh, an, a, a like an I don't know what it is, but it was basically a cheese steak with a French dip type thing. Uh, and I didn't know that that was the thing up there. I mean, I had always heard of deep dish pizza and and, and hot dogs, Chicago dogs with the sport peppers and all that. Yo, but I didn't know. I didn't learn about the the beefs, the, the whatever the, the, the sandwich, how y'all call it, or at least how it was called in Illinois. So maybe that's why you have a penchant for it. Uh, Kirk says smoked to excuse me. Kirk says smoked tilefish fillets with the gator shake is is another one. It's off the hook too. Ever grilled lamb burgers? No, I have not. William, following now. All right, grilled lamb burger is great. Newcomb says, hey, Dash, I'm commenting, but I'm watching, but I can watch, but, <laughs> but comment. All right, no problem. This is a dinner, and he's still making me hungry. Sorry. All right, Randy says, I got my red dirt rub from Crimson Creek. I love the rub, and it seems to go great with everything, even my eggs. 
sent me some extra goodies as well. Thanks for the hookup. No worries. Well, Randy, hopefully you heard of Crimson Creek through me because, you know, uh, you know, it's one of those things. Still sharp and still. And, and I, I like Marcus and, and Jamie from Crimson Creek. They, they looked out for me. They reached out. And, and we've become fast friends between the three of us. Uh, I, I, I feel like I'm talking to them almost every day. Jamie, Marcus, you know, they ain't got nothing else to do but text me and DM me, so, I, you know, <laughs> but, nah, like, seriously, I, we, we definitely chop it up with, I chop it up with them a fair, a fair amount, and actually, yesterday, so, did anyone see my Instagram, uh, was it yesterday, today is Wednesday, so that might have been Monday afternoon I did that, um, but I used some of the red dirt, alright, and, I pulled this, I had this out because I found out that my wife put the red dirt away with the cozy, which is why I couldn't find it. But I used the red dirt with some garlic pepper, which adds the salt because the red dirt doesn't have any salt in it. And I made some uh, sous vide, some, some ribeyes. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Talk about delicious. All right. Uh, Questa J said, I'd like to try to uh, grill alligator, turtle, bison, and wild turkey, ostrich. All right, so I've never grilled alligator, but I have had alligator. And uh, you know who I did see grill alligator? Um, Rich from Our New Barbecue. And he used Gator Shake on Gator. And he lives in Louisiana, and he is lucky enough to be able to go to his, like a local market, supermarket, and get gator. Like, from the freezer section. I was like, dang, dude, how can I be down? So, yeah. Uh, the, the, the Italian beef, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, all right. Well, hello, KB Barbecue. All right, so Randy, Jamie says uh, we put it on everything, too. Cornbread, potato salad, fish, veggies. So glad you love it. Also, um... What is it? Uh, cheese dip. I saw Marcus putting it on today. What's up, Adam? How you doing? I can see his spicy corn bread cooked on the grill being good. Dude, all right. If we're going to talk about cornbread, we need to talk about Kirk cornbread. All right. Kirk's cornbread is great. Every time I go to Ocean City, I need some cornbread, Kirk. But, but we know that already. Dash, you butchered that fairly badly. I understand, Newcomb. It's okay. Bison is awesome. Vid on brine, salt meat prep. All right. Um, I don't have a specific video on brines. Uh, and Steve, I tell you what, I don't do a whole lot of videos on meat prep because I kind of try to talk more about um, like tips and tricks, and, and especially as it relates to the barbecue business aspect. But while my business is kind of slow, I've been, you know, cooking for my family just to kind of put out content, but I've never been one to do a whole bunch of recipes. Um, and I don't, I definitely don't give out what I use to season my customer cooks with. Just, I got to keep some stuff for myself. Now I can give you guys a lot of, of, um, not processes, but there's certain things I have to keep for myself. But talking about, uh, brines, excuse me, salts and meat prep. So basically brines, cures, and meat preps. But yeah, Chris Brand says, howdy y'all. Send me that peach rum recipe. Feel like you're definitely gonna ha uh, have to make it happen around here. Well, dude, I mean, really it's, it's, it's not very difficult. Just put a little bit of, you know, a little bit of rum, like, like not much, a tablespoon, two tablespoons of rum, just to give you some viscosity some some brown sugar and some butter and mix it up and warm it up pour it you know brush it on that's it nick blevin says what's going on peeps hope everyone is doing well yes sir right back at you smoked homemade gyro meat is delicious now is it gyro or hero gyro i grew up calling them gyros but you know as of late i've seen and heard a lot of people say gyro but um, I always call them gyros. That's how I just call them. Uh, salt brine. So there's there's no such thing as a salt brine. All right. Where is Victor to back me up on this? A brine is wet. Uh, so if you're just using salt, that's a cure. Um, beer can chicken. Mm, he says. 
So, fun fact, I have never cooked a beer can chicken. I do not want to waste the beer. I, I say that all the time. Want to make smoke? I want to smoke a little pig. But my wife found out and demanded that no babies get cooked on any of our equipment. He's bummed out. You want to walk past? You can. Oh, gosh. Hold on one second, guys. Hurry up. Come on, hurry up. Are you coming back now? Yeah. All right. Mike didn't want to be on camera. You want to say hi to everybody? Hi, everybody. All right. Ah. Euros, Chris says. I want to get a stick burner, but got pellet grill now. What's the best uh, charcoal stick burner or pellet? Devin, they're all different, man. And I'll tell you what. It's it's all personal preference and and how much you want to how much time you want to invest how much actually it's time and energy you want to invest in your cooks because I tell you what out of all the cookers I have the one that I use most frequently is the pellet grill um, because of the convenience factor uh, in in that cooker uh, sorry if I missed some wife is talking about something and I was trying to act like I'm listening well sorry I. I Question J, I understand. I, I'm, I'm going on almost 17 years. Jamie is gyro. 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 Uh, I do it all the time. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, well, it's okay. Jimmy, I'll tell her she said, you said hi. Speaking of the chat on H2O, I'm not coming down there, dude. I am super duper bummed. This is the second h2o weekend i will miss out in 10 years and i'm just dude come on secret zeros euros is greek oregano which is different uh to everyday ordinary oregano well go on we're listening You're talking about the secret and then you just drop a bomb and you gotta elaborate chris please oh my gosh this is so, I decided to try to do my the Windows update on my laptop, and I didn't think it was going to take like an hour plus to get the update done. I haven't heard anyone talking about it. Oh, no, Kirk, they talking about it, man. They are just not, uh, trust me, the folks are coming. Um, there was a big show in uh, York this past weekend. It was, it's called Bag Fair like Volkswagen Auto Group, uh, so Vag Fair, and uh, apparently the number of people that showed up, all right, hold on one second. Oh, look, you're on the yeah, I know, go quickly. Sorry. All right, they said hi. Hi. All right. <laughs> all right, so, sorry. I have to cover up because she didn't want to be seen. She looks fine. Uh, but yeah, Kirk, uh, the show this past weekend, there was uh, it was a lot of folks there in York, and apparently they're still still they're still going to, to Ocean City. They just might not be talking about it as much. What? All the heads are going to yeah. Uh, so there's there's live streamception happening. I had to clean the camera off from putting my fingerprint on it. I know it. <laughs> the third person's going to do it. Wait a minute. Wait, wait for it. I know. I know. Daisy. <laughs> She's having a, a blast. In it. <laughs> so, I'm glad I could entertain you. And you guys, too. For the record, here, I'll move over so you guys can see. Devin says, I enjoyed the, the, the time part to get together with the family and stuff that I always cook on charcoal. Just curious if it's a stick burner. Will be worth it uh charcoal vertical so Devin, that's the thing man it's, it's, it's really up to your commitment you can do charcoal and you can turn out some great barbecue with charcoal i've been using my uh weber kettle uh, that i call charlotte a lot more recently when i have like a single thing to cook or a very small cook uh the the video you guys are going to see tomorrow it was a brisket and I cooked the brisket with the slow and sear on the Weber kettle. And I mean, it turned out great. It, it, that brisket turned out perfect. And I don't usually, I don't typically cook or wrap in butcher paper when I'm cooking for customers, but I just decided to uh, 
Now, if I were putting the brisket in a foil pan, it wouldn't fit really on the Weber kettle, which is one of the reasons why I put it in paper. But normally what I would do is just bring it inside and put it in the oven, but I wanted to finish it out on the grill again. I didn't, I wasn't pressed for time, I had the time. So I wrapped it up and put it in butcher paper. And again, you'll see that tomorrow in tomorrow's cook, but it turned out fine. It, it really, the only difference between cooking in butcher paper and cooking in uh, the foil pan is I did not retain as much of the jus, but I was able to capture enough of the jus in order for me to put some in, in containers and, and give it to the people who order food. So that was perfectly fine. Next is tri-tip, baby. He wants to cook tri-tip. Tri-tip is, is one of those things where reverse searing or cooking it hot and fast work best. Source Creek Oregano Seeds and grill it. Well, Chris, all right. Do deer like oregano? Because, you know, in case you haven't seen, I have a little problem with deer. Ah, uh, do you ever grill ribs rather than smoke them? No, is man, you must be in cahoots with Ken. I do ne I never grill ribs. I, I just don't think that that is something that you should do. Uh, this is what I am drinking tonight. I have a uh, deep Eddie vodka, and I'm drinking a sugar-free rock star, so that I won't do the thing that, you know, the uh, yeah. Ever soak wood chips in water for 15 or have you ever tried to? Do you think it makes a difference? So, Joe, I watched something years ago about soaking wood, all right? And soaking wood chips, soaking wood chunks, and then, you know, so soaking wood chunks, if, if you soak wood chunks, right? Let's just, and this is from the video, I remember, and I'm paraphrasing. You soak a wood chunk and the water is only going to penetrate into the wood like not even an eighth of an inch okay which is a very little bit which means it's not really doing much of anything okay soaking wood chunks is a waste of time now the only exceptions to that or as far as soaking anything soaking wood chips okay soaking wood chips will help to prolong the wood chips but to me, I try to only use wood chips when I'm cooking hotter and faster. Now there have been times and there are times when I'll use wood chips when I'm doing or using the, the uh, slow and sear and I'm cooking a brisket lower and slower or some ribs or something like that. But I sprinkle a lot of the chips across the, the slow and sear because I want that, that burst of flavor. Now, if I was using chunks, I might put three or four chunks across the entire slow and sear because it'll give me a slow release of smoke. The wood chips burn up pretty quickly. Now you have those, there's there's a train of thought out there that says soak the wood chips so they last longer. I don't think it matters, dude, I, I really don't. And I try to use wood chips more when I'm cooking hotter and faster, but there are times when I use wood chips when I am out of chunks, out of wood. You know, you guys have seen, I have apple wood kind of stacked up on the side of my house here and between apple wood on the side of the house from the limbs from the from the tree and the, the oak and other things like that that I have in the backyard that I used to really cook with on my wood burning smokers and such. I just I don't you know chunks chip chips and chunks nah I don't soak them. Sean, how you doing this evening? Alright man, I'm behind on the comments. Let me try to catch up. Uh speaking of cars, can I plug a 57 Chevy giveaway? It's a YouTube channel. Go right ahead, Question J. Uh, stick burns require more attention and time, but worth it if you have the time and energy to attend to them. How long do you typically so smoke your briskets? Until they're done, Marcus. That's one of those things I don't talk about, man. I smoke them until they're done. Uh, quick cooking briskets and just do beef shorties now. Nothing wrong with that, Chris. Uh, that's grilling ribs is a no-no. Yeah, Nick, dude, I just, I, I don't, I don't get it, man. Why is everybody so hooked on wanting to grill ribs? I just, oh, nope. I'm just, I don't feed into it. Ribs don't grill well. Stays tough. Exactly, Chris. I don't even eat them. And I know that ribs don't, they don't get soft. They don't get tender. You, you grill, you, you cook them hot and fast. The meat it cinches up 
and you gotta like rip and knock. No, you don't want that. No. <laughs> Quest of Jason's a crossbow. Crossbow works well with deer. So funny. I remember Marcus commented something about using a crossbow and the deer because of the fact that I didn't want to uh, attract attention with firing a uh, firearm. Let's see. Question J says, Double D Speed Shop on YouTube is giving away a 57, I guess a 57 Chevy when he hits 57,000 subs. Jeez. Uh, I'd love to get 57,000 subs. Do you smoke with bark on wood? Yes. Uh, Meigs, I'm, I, you know, I have had, again, this is another one of those things. There are two different camps. Now, I will say that when I am starting my fire, I try to look for branches limbs splits that have bark on them just because and during my cook if i pick up a piece of wood that does not have any bark on it cool if i pick up a piece of wood that has bark on it cool um yeah that's it mimi hello party people how you doing this evening uh yeah so i don't i I don't discriminate bark no bark and not I've had some people that, you know I've seen some people say you have to take the bark off of you know no you know you, you, the, to me the most important thing when you're cooking with wood is to make sure you're burning a clean fire those people who say the bark is what makes you have a dirty fire the nope the fire management is off that, but again that's just me all right I can only talk to what I'm experiencing uh, Kirk says I've offered several times to bring cross row up clean process and smoke them uh, he skirt another month and uh, they'll have eaten enough to self marinate ah uh, yeah Nick says bark is flavor he says hey Nick Ble uh, Blevins and Quester J I love the bark part of the stick <laughs> one says look I, I don't I don't have a problem with it Let's see. Sean says two briskets on my Weber kettle with the slow and sear have both been fails. I want to try again, but these lessons are getting expensive. Sean, what happened? What what happened? Um, because I have cooked slow and sear. I've I've done I've done a couple. Nah, I won't say briskets. I did. I've done at least two briskets with the slow and sear. Roy Whitehead says, just want to say what's up, buddy. Well, thank you, Roy. You you know, you don't have to just say what's up. Did I see you today? I was in there. I just kind of came in and out. I, I didn't uh I, I didn't even get the interior done. Do I like horse horse a <laughs> Do I like horseradish? Yes. I can uh I, I like horseradish, especially on uh oysters. I actually was talking to my wife the other day. I said, Do you, you think I should get some oysters? And she says, well, to be completely honest, I'm a lazy oyster eater. She said they have to be shucked and or grilled. Um, but, yeah. All right, Sean. So, uh, <laughs> Hulk says, Sean was looking and not cooking. I'm a real big fan of the snake uh, style slow cook. All right, so Randy, cool. So, Sean says both of them were tough. So, here's the deal. E brisket toughens up so I'm gonna ask you a couple questions then you can you can choose to answer or not answer but to me I usually smoke a brisket naked four to six hours depending on the size of the brisket anything under 15 pounds like 10 to 13 pounds I could pull them as short as four hours or I could wrap them up in as short as four hours or I can let them go as long as six hours. But I usually don't let briskets smoke longer than six hours. Uh, most common wisdom is that you, you temp the brisket and if it's at 160, 165 degrees, and I'm telling you this not for it to be a hard and fast rule. I'm telling you this so that you have a guideline. 160 to 165 degrees, you decide where you're going to wrap your brisket. I wrap my brisket up, okay? Now I have done foil and I've done butcher paper. And I am becoming a fan of butcher paper. I've been using the butcher paper for the last like three months, six months, actually by March. So we're in August now, so five months almost. I'm becoming a fan of butcher paper because I can wrap stuff up and it, it holds and it's in a more compact package. 
I like the foil because it provides an easier means of transportation. Also, it captures more of the, ju the juices or the jus from brisket. But I wrap brisket up. Now, brisket wrapped up. Once the brisket is wrapped up, and actually one of the other things I didn't mention, I also, I smoke my briskets. I try to keep them at about 250 degrees. Now, when I'm using the slow and sear on the Weber kettle, I'm cutting that, that intake down to a quarter open. Now, what you can do is, is what I did. I just drew lines on the bottom, all right? I did a halfway. I did a half, halfway, so a quarter. I did three quarters, and then I did wide open. So I put it on that quarter mark, all right? And then on the top, I also put that to about a quarter open. And with the slow and sear, add water to the slow and sear, let it go. I don't open up the, the, the smoker, none of that. I might open up the smoker, look at it in two hours, maybe two and a half hours. And if I need to, I will rotate that brisket 180 degrees just to make sure because the way the heat comes up and over from the slow and sear, the far side is going to be the hot side, okay? Because of radiant heat. So I'll rotate the brisket in, like I said, two, two and a half hours. But I don't let the brisket smoke naked more than four to six hours. Again, you can try to temp it. If it's sitting at or hits 160, 165 degrees, you're probably good to wrap it. Now, I will then increase the temperature in the grill smoker to around 300 degrees to help it finish faster. And when I say finish, you're, you can poke it with a, you know, a meat thermometer. And it really, it, it, there's, there's no other way to explain it. When you poke that, that meat thermometer in that brisket, and if it goes in and slides right out like a warm knife through butter, then it's done. And you're looking for a temperature between 198, 200 degrees to about 205. I, that's what I found in my area, okay? Now there's some people that'll tell you, oh, you gotta take a brisket to over 210 degrees. No, hoo, hoo. you cook beef too long and it becomes mushy. You don't want that to happen. So what I would suggest is you can try to figure out what, like if you want to hit a specific temperature, get yourself like a wireless thermometer, put it in there. Once it hits the temperature you want to test it at, hit that temperature, feel it. If it's right, that's the temperature you want to go to. If you feel it and it's not right, if it's not soft enough, if it's not tender enough, it needs to cook longer. More often than not, you might, why did that cut off? More often than not, you maybe cooked it too fast and it tightened up and it's not actually, uh, it's not done. It, it, you know, brisket tightens up before it relaxes and actually gets, uh, gets good. It, it gets better. All right. Um, da, 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 da. She like meat church seasoning. So Nick, I have used plenty of meat church seasonings in the past. I haven't ordered any meat church seasonings in quite a while. Horse red is binder on beef, huh? That's uh, different. Like my oysters with some uh, limon, tapatio fresh off the grill with a morello, morello, maybe modello. Uh, I'm here, but driving. Well, thanks, B, for checking in. Nick says, what up, man? Quick catering question. Do you provide barbecue sauce for your events? If so, do you make your own or just provide store sauce? So, Nick, it depends. Uh, if someone is requesting a sauce, a lot of times I will try to get something off of the shelf. And, and one of the main reasons I do that is because I can tell them exactly what it is in case there's anyone with a food allergy or you know some sort of sensitivity. Most people who have allergies and or sensitivities, if they come up to me and they say, hey, you know, I'm allergic to this or doesn't have that, I can, I can tell them pretty definitively. When you make something homemade, it is not as simple to do that. So I doctor up sauces, but I start with a store-bought base uh, in order to be able to, you know, for food safety and allergy or allergen reasons. Uh, Adam says, that's my daughter and wife planted Craig's jalapenos, and man, they are hot. I'm either uh, not that good at eating them, 
or they are hot. Wow, think of chopping them up to a burger and salt and black pepper. Yeah, uh, but you might only want, maybe you can cut up half of the, like a jalapeno and put it in there. But the jalapenos aren't that hot, dude. Um, I actually, I took some of my jalapenos right off of the bush, off the plant, and ate them like, ah, yeah. Rolled to 206, had trouble getting the temps up to 250, so I think that may be part of the problem. All right. Meat church seasoning, Hulk says, is expensive. I uh, get it while they're having deals. All right. Nine bucks a piece isn't a lot at all. Well, it depends. Um, Meat says, IT guy at work. LOL. Yeah. <laughs> I am an IT guy. How long do you let your briskets rest before slicing? Do you rest in the cooler? William. Um, usually I let them rest as long as I can, no less than, I try not to let them rest for any longer, any, any shorter than a half an hour. I try to shoot for about an hour to an hour and a half is the absolute max. After two hours they get cold and they get harder to slice, and I do not rest in any sort of cooler. I've, I've said this and, and this is again, this is one of my own pet peeves. Your brisket and your cooks, that goes like this, right? Your your trajectory of your temperatures goes like this. We all know that there's carryover heat from cooking. You take a brisket straight off of the grill, the smoker, whatever, you know, however, whatever cooker you want to call it, and you wrap it up in a towel because that's what people do, and you put it into a cooler, it's going to continue to cook because the cooler is not going to allow the temperature to fall off so if anything what i would suggest is you you let your your brisket sit on the counter for a half an hour 45 minutes and then put it inside of a cooler and then put it inside of some sort of camera and then put it inside of some sort of warmer okay because you want the brisket to stop cooking okay you want it to stop cooking if you don't stop it from cooking, it's still going to carry over a couple degrees up. And with if you put it in the cooler, as opposed to it carrying over three to five degrees and then starting to taper off, it'll carry over three to five to you know maybe seven, and it'll hold and it'll hold at that higher temperature for a much longer time, and you could end up having mushy brisket, like mushy peas. Those of you guys, any of you guys. In or ever been to the UK and had mushy peas. Uh, that's what you're drinking. You got vodka with Sprite again and a good cigar. Well, Nick, I have some vodka tonight, and it was a it was a, just a rock star energy drink. But I'm thinking we are in the, in the second hours. It, it's about time for me to make another drink. So give me a second. I might go make said drink. Uh, Carlos says, when wrapping in butcher paper, does your brisket come out drier? It seems like when I do, the paper draws a lot of the juices from the brisket, and it turns out dry. What's the fix for this? Well, Carlos, I've never had a brisket dry. Never. Um, you probably are cooking it too hot, or you're letting it cook too long. Some, something is up in the process in what you're cooking. The video that's going up tomorrow, it's... And if you stick around to the end of the live stream, those of you guys who know, you stick around to the close to the two hour mark, what I do is I post the video link, the link for the video for tomorrow, so you can watch it tonight uh, as a thank you for hanging out with me on the live stream. Um, so, but I take this brisket that I had on Charlotte out of the butcher paper and you see how much moisture is in the butcher paper. I mean, I wring out the butcher paper onto the aluminum pan, I had a baking sheet that I lined in foil so that I could capture the juices that ran out of that brisket. And I, I don't know how you can get a dry brisket. Uh, I don't, I just, I just don't. But then again, I might be, there, there's, there's a disconnect. There's something, and I won't say wrong, there's something off or different. I have smoked beef tongue, Nolan's uh, food fan, a little bit of Nolan's fan for life. Uh, definitely, I talked about this early uh, in the live stream because someone asked about how to cook a beef tongue. Um, there's a membrane on the beef tongue you got to pull off and then you smoke it and then I swear to you it tastes just like roast beef. Just like roast beef. 
Meeks is off topic, but my Dreamcast is still online playing games. Modem connects to RPI with custom software to interface between Wi-Fi, Fantasy Star Online. Dreamcast? Wow. Talk about taking me back. I use my trigger as a cooler. Only use my offset now. Alright, Jerry Springer. Jerry, where's Steve? I uh, never had a brisket dry out. And in butcher paper. Or in or on. Uh, what grade of brisket do I cook? Whatever I can find, Carlos. I'm, I'm not a, you know, brisket is humble food. I'm not one that's going to be like, I'm cooking a Wagyu brisket. Ah. I've never seen a discernible difference between cooking a prime brisket and a choice brisket. I talked about this a few weeks ago. The only brisket I would choose to never cook again if I had the option. I cooked a halal brisket and it, it and it said it was a standard grade. That was the grade. Like standard grade probably is like below grade A. Um and it was it was weird like there wasn't very much fat in and on it it was now i tell you the, the the folks i cooked it for it was a co-worker and who was muslim and she needed a halal brisket so i cooked this halal brisket for her and she and her husband ranted and raved about it i told you guys before that her husband as was actually a fan of mine he watched my channel and when she and I got to talking about barbecue and she relayed the message back to him. He was like, oh my God, you, you know that? You work with Dash? Like, he was a fan. Um, so when I cooked for them and he enjoyed it, that was like, it, it, it was validation. Even though that was not my favorite brisket cook. And if you go back, I actually did a video comparing the standard grade brisket, the halal standard grade brisket to like a choice brisket. And I told her if I had the choice, I would cook the choice brisket more so than I would the standard grade. But that that's like, I wouldn't try to cook any grade lower than, than choice. Um, so, yeah. The, the majority, probably 80% of the briskets I cook are choice briskets. I don't pay the extra money for prime briskets. I haven't found it to be like, oh my God, so much extra. Bumpy, what's going on, man? How you doing? A buddy who lives in Mexico and he had the same issue with the solution was found. His elevation had to run at lower temps. Yeah, interesting. Kirk, you don't have friends. Don't, don't, don't try to tell us you have buddies and friends. Could be location, humidity, drying out of the brisket. Yep. Do I inject my briskets? No, I don't inject anything. I am a product of the 80s and I've seen too many uh, folks that, uh, you know, crack. <laughs> crack, no. Uh, I don't know track marks and stuff like that. You see people who do all of that injection stuff. I'm not cooking competition barbecue. Uh, to me, again, I, I'm keeping it simple. Barbecue is a simple man's food, and it really just takes a decent seasoning and patience, and that's it. I'm not. I don't. I'm not fancifying the barbecue. I keep it simple. Keep it simple, stupid. Uh, enjoyment is what matters, Meek says. Yes, I've injected several times and I really see no difference, Kurt said. He's not the only person I've seen and heard say that. Um, I, I just, you know, again, there's a difference when you're cooking backyard barbecue to when you're cooking competition barbecue. You're cooking competition barbecue, you only get, you get one shot. You have to give the, the, the judges one bite, and that bite has to be perfect. And you need to add extra stuff to it and, and do more stuff to make it pop, to make it stand out, to make you, to wow the judges. For backyard barbecue, you want somebody to want to eat more of it. And competition barbecue, to me, in my own opinion, you know, in my humble opinion, the competition cooks, uh, you just, you know, you can't eat a whole brisket that's competition cooked. Like, you might get sick because it's too rich or it's too sweet or it's too this or it's too, excuse me, too that. I, I, I don't know. I, I just, I'm not, again, I'm a simple man. I keep stuff simple and I'm, yeah. What's up, Stephen? He says, Brother Dash, howdy. Good evening. What's going on, man? Bumpy says, smoking a couple Chuck Roasts tomorrow. Been a while. 
but uh, someone hit me up for some kind of excited. What else? What's up? Are you going? Are you doing like a pulled beef there, Bumpy? Maceo says hello with only one grade. I checked the marbling, dude. I wish I would have known. But you know what? Again, the whole thing was I was cooking this brisket for, her and I told her I, I, you know, I was I was shooting for a specific weight of the brisket, and I don't think there was very much selection. Um, because it depends like the one restaurant depot I go to near my job they do have halal brisket and the restaurant depot near my house does not have halal brisket so I was kind of you know bent over a barrel and I had to get something uh, Grumpus says technique trumps your meat grade most of the time yep KB says competition is extreme flavor. Backyard is for enjoying. Dude, definitely agree with you there. Marcus says backyard slash competition slash production are three totally different things. But I, I, I've gotten my backyard barbecue to the point where I've, I, I have the, you know, the technique down, the processes down, so I can definitely get it. Um, did it get it pretty spot on every single time uh chopped beef like burnt ends uh cut okay that's what's up bumpy does your restaurant depot have hog shanks uh, i don't know kirk but uh you're more than welcome to come in this direction and let me know if you want to check uh find out all right so we're in the second hour, and most of you guys know in the second hour, we kind of talk about any and everything. And while we're talking about it, I'm getting ready to go get my other uh, rock star. And, you know, again, thank you, Marcus. Thank you, Jamie. If you guys have not checked out Crimson Creek Smokehouse, check them out on Instagram. They are at Crimson Creek on Instagram. Uh, and, whoop, here we go. I knew I was going to get it wrong. Porkify Austin. <laughs> Madwood, how you doing? Hey, hold that thought. I'm going to go uh, get another rock star so I can not do the Y-A-W-N thing and uh, fill up my cup again. Hold on. Put, put the sugar-free Rockstar in the freezer to help keep it cold. So we are going to pop that in the in the Crimson Creek smoke uh, cozy. Ooh. Yeah. Oh crap. No. I had it in the in the freezer just a little too long. It crystallized on me. All right, now we're gonna pour this this deep eddy right over top. Oh yeah. Oh crap. This little what is with Texas folks and putting these little ring things on the bottle? Yo, this just fell off into my drink. Like, why do y'all do that? Tito's does it. And yeah, Tito's and, and Deep Eddie. Why do y'all put the stuff on the bottle? Just write with that little extra bit that you want to write and advertising and selling. Just write it on the bottle, on the label. Why waste that little bit extra paper? If you want to waste the extra paper, just make the label bigger, damn it. All right. Rant over. Because it fell into my drink. All right. Greg, what's going on? Finally, your video pops up, and I ain't get a notification since the garden video in June. Hold on, Tramel. Maybe you need to uh, unsubscribe and resubscribe, or turn off the notification and uh, turn the notification back on. Kirk, this is a, I think it's a 32 ounce cup. 
It's a pretty healthy cup. Pretty healthy. Uh, no. I don't have... <laughs> Ernie, you are so right, Ernest. <laughs> You're absolutely correct. <laughs> oh, dude. Ernest, man, what's going on, man? How, how are you doing, man? How are you doing? How's Ty doing? Tell Ty I said what's up. I miss hanging out while talking to you. You know, we used to have some real-life chats, man. Like, real talk. Uh, I know, Jamie. And she said, what do you know? It's empty. Uh, <laughs> all right, Marcus, I'll, I'll, I'll agree. He said, that's to tell the little thing is to tell the bottle's empty. I guess when you turn it too high, the thing falls off and boom. That's your indicator. The dark rose coffee uh, rum from Kraken is delicious. All right, again, uh, rum. What the hell? Why? Is. Why is this not? Maybe because I haven't muted. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this back on. Cause I have to make sure the live stream is running. Uh, Alright. And, and, and thank you, Marcus. Golly, I'm so far behind. Yeah. So let's go back. And oh no. Glasses on, so crap. Oh, ah, there we go. Here we go. We're catching up live. All right. So we're live. Yep. Take my back of my head, and we'll turn the volume down. Okay. Maybe it'll stay on this time. I don't know why it's going off. Okay. All right, so Bumpy said 39 folks watch, watching and uh, 39 likes. If you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Ernest, man, I, shoot. He said living a dream. I already know. Oh, yeah. I was going to have a big cup. Yeah. <laughs> BZ, how you doing, man? Hopefully everything is going well for you out there on the West Coast. Good time with the TV plug. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> uh, Microsoft making Windows. <laughs> more better, baby. More better, baby. More better, baby. <laughs> Grump is right. As my, my laptop has been updating... Uh, Windows 10 is doing the up update right now for over an hour. It, you know, we're looking at an hour and a half. Midwest has just got off work. How's everyone doing tonight? We are all good, sir. Thank you so very much for checking in. But if you, you, you have not hit that thumbs up button for me, I would ask if you could please take care of that for me. I would greatly appreciate it. It really does uh, make me feel better about doing these live streams as well as helps not only my channel, it helps these videos do better. Uh, in YouTube's eyes, all right? You know, I think they're fine. But, you know, I would love to see more people, some new folks, new eyes on the, on the live streams. And we kind of just hang out and, you know, we cheers and adult beverages. And we just shoot the breeze. So at this point, we are well into the second hour of the uh, live stream. What do y'all want to talk about? Are you watching on your phone or on a TV, Ernest? Thank you, Midwest Barbecue. Hey, and uh, shout out to Quester J. Quester J, you know what? He's he's like the most valuable... I don't know. Most valuable... What the heck? It shut off again. What is going on? It just doesn't like to be stay on. I need the the stream to be on so that I can make sure. All right, so this is what we're going. We're going to make sure that we're live. All right. All right. <laughs> Y'all see that? That was a genuine reaction. What the heck? 
I don't know why it, it is cutting out. Anyway, um, Quester J, definitely the most valuable person that has been putting stuff in the mail. Uh, he said, you want to send something for Dash to try? Steel Drum Smokers Barbecue, uh, P.O. Box 3236, Catonsville, Maryland, 21228. All right, Ernie, well, glad you figured it out. That, that IT training has come in handy for you, I guess. <laughs> You haven't lost your IT skill, huh, Ernest? Um, but yeah, so I do go to the PO box rather often. Probably three or four times a week. I'm up at the PO box. It's not very far away from my house, about two miles, two and a half miles away. Uh, but I do almost always check it on Wednesdays. I check it on Wednesdays because if anyone sent something that day prior to a live stream and I can talk about it on a live stream and thank you for sending whatever it is you sent I will do that so Meigs I think you said you were gonna send something uh, so if you haven't put that in the, in the field box and I missed it uh, let me know like there have been time there was a time when someone sent something and it sat in, in the wrong field box for almost a month because the P.O. box number was, was off by like a digit, a single digit. And the postmaster general at the post office, he just so happened to say, hey, wait a minute, this is not the, he looked at the, the name and he said, that's not the right P.O. box number. And he actually put it into my right box and I got the package finally. But it was like, it was sitting in the, in the, in the uh, P.O. box, in a wrong P.O. box for quite some time. Uh, didn't turn out the way they wanted. Old printer. Nah, Question J. Oh, oh, speaking of which, let me show y'all what Question J. He hooked me up. All right? And this is why this box is sitting right here. So, first and foremost, this was on top of the package when I opened it up. It said, Mo Butter, baby. Now, actually, he hooked it up. My man, Question J, made personalized can y'all can y'all see that come on camera focus all right there's that and there's that this is hold up let me move this out of the way my man question j sent personalized hand sanitizer come on Focus on hand sanitizer. All right. And when you use a bunch of hand sanitizer, you need some lotion. Now this is unscented, all right. But hand sanitizer and lotion in some, some little bottles. And it is real. It, it, it works. It doesn't smell too bad and it's not harsh. And, you know, like I said, you hand sanitizer, you use enough sanitizer, you got to put on some lotion. So that's perfect. I have some hand sanitizer to kind of go between all of the vehicles and, um, and lotion again to go uh, to the vehicles. So, yeah. <laughs> Nick, nah, man, I don't, I don't mess with that. Shoot, uh, unless you you need to tell me something I don't know about, but the the unscented lotion again, you know, because you use enough hand sanitizer, you need some lotion. And when I got these, I opened this up last week or so, and I was floored, like floored. Ah, uh, huh? Yeah, hey Marcus, this is definitely awesome. Like. I, I couldn't have this and he didn't you know he didn't hit me up for an image or anything he he found that I don't even know where he got the image from but it works and he printed it out Questa J is he just I mean he, he he's so awesome thank you so very much and I, I just Jason I, I like, I, I can't say thank you enough. I really do appreciate you. Um, yeah. 
JG, what's up with you? What's up, Alton? Alton is up in the house. Uh, hey, yo, how you doing? <laughs> Nick, I just got that one. Um, <laughs> we're not going to repeat it. Alton, did you see this? My man, Quest J. This is a hand sanitizer. And this is a unscented lotion. He sent these in a package, a care package, uh, last week or so. And, uh, yeah, I, I just, I want to say thank you, Justin, seriously, or Jason, excuse me. Uh, seriously, I appreciate it. Steven, hold on, time out. Those of you, are you guys following Steven on Instagram? Because Steven went from, like, Woof and Wooly Mammoth to like GQ, Mr. GQ, you know, uh, like cover model today. He posted a picture of him at before and after getting a haircut. And uh, yeah, my man looked like uh, Rico Suave over there. Said, uh, hide your kids, hide your wife. <laughs> oh man, so how is everybody doing? How's, you know, how your mama doing? How you, how, how you mama and them? How they doing? Uh, but yeah, Quester J, Quester J said he hooked it up. Look, he was, he and his wife, they're so very thoughtful. I was talking about how I hadn't been cooking outside because it was so hot. And they sent me this too. It's like a personal fan. And I don't know how loud this is going to be, but let me find the button. I actually was sitting on the couch yesterday working from home and I had this on my, <laughs> I had this on for like a good hour, two hours as I was sitting on the couch. And when I say it is actually helpful, it, it does help. Now I'm sure if, if I didn't have a beard and my neck was exposed, like I can do like this. So point one in my neck and one a little higher. It it, it does actually help. So can you guys hear this? Is this really loud? Because if it's not really loud, I might keep it on and turn it down on low. See, it kind of makes a whining noise. I don't know. You guys tell me. Can you can you hear that? And, and it's got three speeds, a low, a medium, and a high. And yeah, all right, I mean, dope, dope, all right. So let's see. Oh, he also sent uh, like one of those, um, uh, uh, what's the name, towels that you wet and then kind of use it around, put it around your neck. So he's got me well set up for cooking in the heat. Uh, just me here with a drink slow. Do y'all show to our kids old school stuff? <laughs> yeah, show your kids old school stuff. Hey, my daughter here looking at old school, old schoolhouse rock on YouTube. Shoot, man, hell yeah. Look, my kids, I don't even have to start drinking, uh, Alton. So when I would take my kids, I, on Thursday mornings, I took my kids to school because I work late on Thursdays. Um, and it, when we, we would usually go into Dunkin' Donuts and whatever we heard on the radio in Dunkin' Donuts or over the sound system in Dunkin' Donuts, by the time we got back in the car, I would look up the video on YouTube. But I mean... They learned about uh, Lisa Stansfield. Was it Lisa Stansfield that been around the world and yeah, 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 like, you know, like old, you know, um, oh man, um, Bill Withers. We were listening to Bill Withers before he passed away not too long ago, and you know, it's just one of those things where I got in a mood. And that was the song we listened to or the video we watched on the way to school. All right, Grumpus says they don't hear it. Wait till the beer gets caught in Kirk. I trust me. I like pull them things out because yeah, uh, it's been rather hot in here. Kelly, dude, it's been here. <laughs> it's been hot here as well. So one of the good things is the fin the fins are like plastic and they're pretty soft. So I don't think I have to worry that much about it. But since you guys can't hear it very much, I'm going to put this back on. Thank you for playing along. And let me know that you can't hear it. Because I know I hear it. But then again, it is like right on my ears. 
Uh, Victor's has just getting off the Cascades Mountain Range and picked up a cell tower. So hello everyone. Well, thank you very much, sir. Uh, she was out when I kicked out Christmas Rat from <laughs> B Street. Look, you know what's so funny? Hey, Alton, if she watched Hamilton and is a fan of Lin-Manuel Miranda, um, look up Silent E is a Ninja from, uh, was it, it wasn't from Alphabet Factory or whatever it was, but Silent E is a Ninja. What's your opinion on soaking your cooking wood and cooking with soaked wood? I don't do it Midwest barbecue. It's a waste of time. <laughs> Brandon, how you doing, sir? Hopefully all is well in South Carolina. And your, oh man. I know beef prices have come down some. I'm just, I'm rocking the fans that Quest of J sent since, you know, I'm trying to cool off. The alcohol is making me hot. All right, we're going to turn that off and just, you know, put it down for a little while. Again, I can hear it. I'm just self-conscious about it. Hello, uh, who I need love. Uh, I, you know, I need love is a little advanced. Uh, there's some, some stuff in there that, that might not, it might go over the heads, but it might not go over the heads. So, you know. Freaks of industry. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Alton. Hey, yo, what's up, Dash? Must love from Lafayette, Louisiana. I actually want to come. I want to. I want to go to Louisiana. I, I do. I have some friends down in Louisiana from a motorcycle forum way, way, way back in the day. They are in Baton Rouge, so Baton Rouge, a red stick. And you know where else or who else I want to come see in Louisiana? I want to go. I want to meet Big Lou. All right. I would love to meet Big Lou and uh, and and you know hang out with him. Uncle Steve, how you doing this evening? Hopefully you saw my shout out on Instagram yesterday. I received my package from you, sir, and uh, I haven't gotten a chance to cook with it yet because I just got it yesterday. But definitely want to say thank you. Ah, excuse me. Settle in, making a drink. That's what's up, B. Drink on. Ah, uh, poor man, Randy. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you down with CPP? Yeah, you know me. You down with CPP? Yeah, you know me. Who's down with CPP? Yeah, you. The whole family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man, Alton, you, you don't know, man. I. I got it. Uh, thanks. Appreciate my friend is from Texas, and they do that. But don't I did some barbecue stuff, and they love it. What else was up, Midwest? One three Reader's Choice Awards in the local paper. Best restaurant, best lunch, and best caterer. Brandon, big ups, man, big ups. I can't wait. Uh, I know at some point we will be coming back down to Myrtle. And when and or if, I would love, love, love to try to, to swing through and at least, you know, come and meet you and shake your hand and then give you a high five and, you know, get some beef from you or something. But, um, you know, obviously there's a bigger thing going on, so that's not happening anytime soon. Mumby said, other than chicken, what's the first cook on Frida? Chicken. Uh, yeah, um, you know, Mumby was funny. I have a family engagement this weekend. And I contemplated doing a brisket on it, but I, I'll be completely honest, I didn't want to mess it up. My wife told me she has some steelhead that I can cook on it. And I'm like, ah, you know, I, new grill, who this? It always, it's always chicken. Always chicken. Uh, uh, CBZ says, check out The Bizzle, The Messenger, 4th of July. It's a nice album. There's lyrics. Uh, swag and old person that kids can listen to. That's what's up. Thank you very much, BZ. Mr. Fishy Isaac says, uh, hey, yo, missed the first portion. Late night at a restaurant. Pour it up. Uh, liquor in my cup. That's what's up. Would you ever forget a jam on it? No. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> We're gonna mix in a little Curtis Blow. 
Ah, uh, the lyrics is you down with OPP. I'm aware with the 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 whole thing is so William, you might it might have gone over your head. Uh, Uncle Steve just put out a shake. It's called CPP. All right. Um, it is competition pour competition. Shoot, I, I'm trying not to go get the bottle. All right, y'all gonna have to to say. Uh, yeah. See, also, see the first is there. I have, I saw a little bit about the remake of it, Alton. Um, but yeah, I haven't uh, paid much attention to it. I kind of like, I don't really like watching trailers. I hate seeing a trailer. I, I really just watch something. BZ said, if you want to take the kids back, play some Rap and Duke or Slick Rick. Uh, I like that. Competition Pig Powder. Thank you, Alton. I couldn't remember what the, like, I'm like, is it pork list or, I know, yeah. What's up, Ricer? How you doing? Thank you, Ricer. I appreciate you helping out. Uncle Steve, I should have known you would be there to the rescue. He said, Competition Pig Powder. Um, and, yo, I tasted it. I, I, I'm digging it. Like, for real, real. I almost cooked some, well, almost stopped and got some leg quarters on my way home this evening. But my wife said that she had chicken earlier today. So I was like, that's not going to be a good look because I'm going to cook it and then she's not going to eat it. So I just didn't. Uh, yeah, William, it's okay. It's all right. I, and, and I know the lyrics, hence the reason why I got his reference. But, you know, you know. William, so what you need to do is hit up Uncle Steve and get yourself some of this CPP. So you can be down with the CPP and be in with the in crowd, all right? In with the cool kids and know what we're talking about when we talk about the CPP. Just, just, just saying. Just. Uncle Steve, remember that name? William Lewis, all right? Maybe he goes by Bill, all right? But when he places that order, hint, hint, wink, wink all right and you can get uncle steve's from uncle steve shake dot com it explodes when you cook with it uh oh when you try some of that cpp what i say william look got that whole is it tilapia oh yes i did see that alton I, you know, I, yeah, you know, I, I, I had to guess it was tilapia that you were talking about, but I did, uh-oh, Uncle Steve said you placed that order and mentioned Dash and you get something special. Hopefully it's something good special. I've, I, you know, I've talked to Uncle Steve a couple times and, you know, we got, he's got some young kids. He might send you a dirty diaper or something. So just. Just make sure it's it's the good special, Uncle Steve, please. <laughs> please. <laughs> when we said I had a Burger King order issue, uh, reminded me of your RB and Applebee rant. Uh, my video on my experience coming. Well, that's what's up, man, dude. I, I mean, it's like, <sighs> yeah, I, I just, it's just one of those things, man. You know, yo, come on. William. Uncle Steve's shake, all right. One, one thing in the URL, all right, and and the whole thing. I would have typed it into my computer, but I'm only at ninety percent as far as the update, and I hope it doesn't mess stuff up. I I just I I I hope it doesn't mess stuff up, because you know I hate it when you upgrade or update stuff, and it messes stuff up. Uh. <laughs> so question J used to run a uh, candle shop and uh, and he says oh, oh lol we had a fragrance called baby diaper made an awesome prank spray <laughs> no it's it's C P P Brian all right William well thank you make sure you leave any notes or in the comments or whatever it is that you can do that uh, you know just just remind him Dash sent you. He said he's gonna send you something. Something special. 
Mr. Fishy Isaac says we call Applebee's. Wait for it. Crapplebee's. <laughs> yeah. Check out the old guard on Netflix. Cool movie. Uh, Bumpy, I seen it. All right. Uh, definitely. It was a good movie. It was a good movie. What's up? Frio. He says, hey, yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> How you doing this evening, sir? Frio, yo, I, I, I just want to be down with Frio. Frio has, like, the most... I don't know how you get so many beers, dog. Like, I used to work in a beer and wine store, and I didn't have as many different beers as you, as you have, and I see you on your Instagram. Ooh, Alton, want to buy a Lone Star Grill smoker and a Santa Maria? Ah, shoot. I would tell you I want to get the uh, smoker faster than I want the Santa Maria just because I would have and use that more often. But to be completely honest, I need the double cabinet. Um, I need the double cabinet uh, Lone Star. But, you know. I mean, it's so funny. Hold on, let me show you something, Alvin. So, hopefully you can appreciate this. My, my wife called me today and she says, hey the rudy's barbecue sauce that you have she's like it's almost out i'm like all right well I, I said to her i said well on the bottle there is a there's a website where you can place an order to replace it and she says uh, what if we just go down there and get some more i'm like um what <laughs> Holy, what uh uh so I've told this before, I, I went to Austin and I went to Rudy's and Rudy's is what got me wanting brisket. Um, I couldn't get brisket like that up here. And that's what spurred me on to, to, to cook brisket and, and I got brisket. I feel like I got it right. So she joked today when she called me and uh, she's like, yeah, you know, we should go down there and get some more of this barbecue sauce. And this, the, this 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 bottle has lasted me six months because this is the bottle I brought back from Austin when I was down there in February, um, and it's one of those things again. It's like this is off limits for the kids. I don't want them eating it because I, I like this barbecue sauce a lot. It's it's, it's peppery, yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. What do I think of stumps smokers? I think they're good. Um, I like stumps because stump don't make no junk. Um, but stumps were the first. Oh God, out and I forgot you hate on Rudy's. Dog, Rudy's is a gas station, and you. All right. You cannot tell me that you've never eaten a gas station hot dog and enjoyed it. You can't. You can't tell me. That you have not eaten a gas station hot dog and enjoyed it. Alright? Same thing. The barbecue that I had at Rudy's, it was great. Alright? It was great. Now, mind you, there might be better barbecue spots. But as an introduction to the barbecue in Texas, the barbecue was great that I had at Rudy's. You can't take that away from me. And I like the sauce, dog. I like it. And that's it. Uh, la, la, la. <laughs> Need room for a new smoker. Dude, uh, he has some bigger shakers, uh, Brian. And I'm sure he would sell it to you as a business in a bigger pack, all right? Or in a pouch. Look, you two are so funny, Marcus, Jamie. Come on down. Come on, man. Your room is ready. Shoot. The, the guest room that you know I, I don't know if I want to be in the guest room uh, but you know maybe I can sleep on a trailer Marcus uh, earn my keep and uh, stoke the fire for you Grumpus says I got a Rudy six miles from my house come and get it oh come on Grumpus don't do that to me ah uh, stump gravity fed uh, gravity fed is a beast uh, Bryce just says 
No, not Rudy's dude. B. I'm telling you, let me be. I like Rudy's. All right, man. People that ain't from here love Rudy's. People uh, got the real. <laughs> got, people here got go to, I guess, real barbecue spots. Listen, I'm not taking anything away of all of the barbecue places that I ate when I was in Austin in February. Valentina's is it was my favorite. Uh, actually, between Valentina's and, and Louis, Louis Mueller, all right, um, yo, I mean, those two, I won't say they tie, but they're pretty neck and neck. Valentina's definitely because that, that freaking brisket taco was greatness. It was great. And the, the hospitality that we were shown while we were there, I, I just, I, I like, it was second, it was bar none. And we went to Style Switch. The the tour that we got at Style Switch was amazing. Seeing the Moberg smokers that, smokers that they had. Dog, I this is just, oh, like, seriously, dreaming about the Mer, Moberg smokers they had. Then going up to Louis Mueller spot, man, I mean, all three of those places had different they were all different okay they were all different and i love the history that we saw the, the history that we got at louis mueller's um the style switch i love the tour that we got and at valentina's i love the food we started at valentina's first thing in the morning and and i ate i won't say i ate the most at valentina's but i ate a good deal at valentina's and i didn't pace myself enough so when I was at Style Switch, I was just looking at my plate like this, like, I can't eat you. I want to eat you, but I can't eat you. I'm full. I, I don't want to eat you. I don't want to disrespect you, but I, I, can just, I just can't eat you. And then by the time we got to Louis Mueller, like, same thing. I was still full from eating at Style Switch because I had forced myself to eat at Style Switch because I didn't want the food to go to waste. So by the time we got to Louis Mueller, I was just like, yo. I want to, I want to eat you, but I can't eat you. But I tasted a lot, a little bit of everything, and my gosh, it was so good. It was so good. Yo, Wayne Hook. Uh, don't say y'all. Wayne hooked all of us up, Alton. Wayne Mueller hooked all of us up. Uh, let's see. Look, Alton says, "Come on back." Ooh, we're about to need you at the grand opening. Well, Jamie, uh, you know, let me know. I might have to use some airline miles or something. Uh, Alton says, coming back to Austin, I'll get you hooked up with my man and get you a 25-pound bucket of that pepper. Ooh. Dude, I will bring an empty suitcase, and I need to leave with, like, oh, Alton, I need you to do me a solid. All right, I need you to talk to Marcus from Crimson Creek. He is a very big fan, or a big fan of the uh, Fiesta seasonings. And I know you got a guy, so if you can talk to my man Marcus uh, on Instagram, Alton, if you are not, and Marcus, if you are not following Alton on Instagram, Alton is the dog father, and Marcus is Crimson Creek. Uh, I, I need you two to talk and connect and cross pollinate so you guys can work on getting the seasonings and 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 doing the seasoning thing real big because i need you to to talk definitely um so if you could uh jamie help out marcus because he's probably a little you know sheet or two in the wind mark uh and alton i know you're you're on the jug right now so gene if you're listening help him out and uh, put them put them two together so they can, uh, like I said, cross pollinate and uh, help Marcus out with some of his seasoning needs. Frio says Austin, Texas has had an unbelievable craft beer scene to pair with that great barbecue. That's what's up. Alan says that she didn't even get the curling barbecue, Leroy and Lewis or Brotherton's. Well, Alton, uh, I will be back, all right? And, you know, maybe this needs to be an annual pilgrimage. I mean, to be completely honest, I don't think I would have a problem making this an annual trip. Uh, Grumpus says, don't forget, Houston has a bucket list of barbecue joints, too. Grumpus, uh, show. Um, 
I don't know how I could fit that in into this whole thing, uh, Grumpus, but but I, I would love to meet you, sir, and uh, come to your home and be shown around. And I know Alton has a hookup with some folks down in Houston, too. Time shift. Boa noche. Todo bem. Si. Si. Obrigado. Obrigado. Lane is my guy. He was thrilled that I brought you guys in. Well, shoot, I I can completely understand. All right. Thank you, Alton. Thank you, uh, Marcus. I appreciate you guys. Seriously. Thank you, Jamie. All right. All right. I love being able to. This is what this is all about. We need to help uh, politic and cross pollinate. All right. Spanky says, come to Houston. Now, Spanky, I'm, you know, I might need to come to Houston so I can get, you know, some PPE. <laughs> He's just, I'm definitely coming down as soon as all this mess dies down, Alton. I'm drooling when I saw a dog. Dog father, she has to judge. Dude, yo, I already know how big them 25-pound jugs are. Come back, Dash. I'll get you over to Liberty and see Pitt and Ryan did and uh, get you over to my man Max from Texacana. Dude, I would love to meet Max and I, you know, I would, I also, you know, not going to lie, I, 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 see, the problem is I don't want to see one of those pits that Ryan made like up close and personal because I'll mess around and try to get one and I can't afford one. But I'll be completely honest with you. I need a new big smoker. Um, yeah. What's up, Chef? Chef Aurel in the building. He says, what's Gucci? Nothing much, man. Definitely can't wait for you to show up at my place. Well, Alton, uh, excuse me, B. Uh, when and or if. Uh, that's you, man. Shrimps on me. Uh, Mississippi. Uh. 350 pound off the boat. Holy cow, man. That's like a third of the price I pay when shrimp are on the sale. So go to Houston and Pits and Spits tomorrow, but I had to cancel. Jeez. About a month. What's up, Chef? Chef Johnny, how you doing? Yeah, the Lone Star Grill. Definitely, Victor. I am going to be hitting them up soon. Uh, I Yeah, I'm going to be hitting them up soon. I um yeah let's just say I need a new smoker went to Costco today and grabbed some prime brisket ribs salt bottles of Eagle Rare for 30 bucks so after three bottles and the meat into the car wow jeez uh, just outside of Houston all right yeah out if you get a chance go go check out Brian's spot Ugh. <clears throat> Ugh. Ugh. Don't you hate it when you burp up dinner? Ugh. Ugh. Time to wash that down. Uh, yes, I had Eagle Rare. Um, <laughs> so funny, Frio. So, I bought some new wheels and tires for my car. Um, and... When I bought the tires, I got a rebate. It was a $150 rebate. They sent the rebate in the form of a gift card. You know, one of those Visa, Visa gift cards. Uh, me? Jimmy? Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I work from home on Thursday, so I might not need to take next Thursday off. Um, but, no. <laughs> Jimmy, I work late on Thursday, so I don't need to take Thursday off, but um, if I need to go in late on Thursday, I sure can. I see what you're doing there, Jimmy. I, I see what you're doing there. Um, anyway, uh, what was I talking about? Okay, so Eagle Rare. So, Frio, I have this $150 gift card, right? And at the liquor store where I got the, where I got the Eagle Rare, they have Blanton's. It was like I think it was $164 for the bottle. And I said, you know what? Maybe I'll treat myself and take the gift card and apply that to the $164. Well, 
So I'm basically only paying about $20 with, with, with the difference in tax. Uh, you know, because it doesn't technically come out of my pocket, one of those type of deals. Since I've already paid for the wheels, full price for the tires, actually. But I was like, oh my gosh, man, like $165 for a bottle of liquor. Like, what, what is my life like? What, what's my life like? I, I, I'm, I'm not there yet. I'm definitely not there yet. Uh, just a little north. Oh, the, Victor says, don't forget, Lone Star Girls is just a little north of Houston. Uh, da, da, da. Kirk says, chilling, trying to drink with Dash. That's what's up. Kirk, I appreciate that. Cooking with CJ, what's going on, man? How you doing? Frio, you had blends? What? How you doing, CJ? Want a bottle on the raffle, so I didn't pay full price, to be honest. So, all right. Holy cow, you guys are talking away. Ah, oh, man, sorry to hear that. Sip it like it's coffee. Uh, Peerless Rye. Frio, you still have it. Yo, you're in Boston? I mean, that's like a six hour ride. What's this six hour ride between friends? I, I mean, for real. Like, we could sit out on the porch so you don't, you know, you could socially distance. But, you know, alcohol kills the coronavirus, right? I mean, I'll make sure there's food here for you. Yo, <laughs> yo, Spanky. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I am not going to tell you no, but I am. How can I say this? I will be eternally grateful, but I don't want to tell you no. But that that's that's a bit much. Like seriously, like seriously. I can't do that. Like I, I would love to say that. Ciao, okay. Hey, obrigado, time shift. Obrigado. Hey, Kirk, it's three hours to where you are. All right, and I'm gonna need you to read between the lines. All right. <laughs> Jimmy says no. Robert Mel, me the button. A closet full of it, Spanky. Jesus Christ. Oh man, I mean, damn, son. I look. I'm not even mad at that flex right there. You go right and just flex on him, all right, Spanky? Cause, jeez. All right, it's three hours of Ocean City. You are closer to Ocean City. I get it, Kirk. You know, I get it. But dude, um, I still want to come. I still want to come and get that uh, that tank. I haven't forgotten. It's just you know uh, a lot of going, a lot going on right now. And look, there are 48 of you guys on the live stream currently, and we are just cruising, just just past the two-hour mark. We're gonna we're gonna be talking for a while, um, and, and I'm chilling. Y'all chilling? I'm chilling. Energy drinks obviously are working because I'm not a bit you know tired, and I haven't done the wide word yet. Um, so. Question J, thank you so very much for plugging the uh, the P.O. Box. He says, uh, if y'all want to send something for Dash to try, Steel Drum Smokers Barbecue, P.O. Box 3236, Catonsville, Maryland, 21228. And I, can, I can't I can say thank you enough uh, to Question J. Question J, who was awesome. And, you know, he, he's a believer. Like, he he sends stuff to the P.O. Box, all right? He, he practices what he preaches. This is a hand sanitizer, personalized hand sanitizer, and a unscented hand lotion. Use enough sanitizer. You need to moisturize your hands. And, hey, I, we don't say the Y word. And also, the reason why is because I've had two of these. All right, sugar-free rock stars. And the, uh, the uh, Deep Eddie Vodka. 
Current, I know. Hey, look, we don't talk. We don't say the Y word. Marcus, we don't say the Y word. Energy drinks. I'm going to be like... <laughs> for a while. So, yeah. That, it, look, 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 look. Steven says, don't, don't, don't say it. Huh. Uh, uh, let's catch back up. Kirk says crabs, scrimps, tilefish, beers, barbecue, thanks. Mm-hmm. You missed out, brother. Oh man, don't don't tell me that. Look, Steven says, don't say it. Got you covered. Well, a a quest to J, thank you so very much. Man, I really I, I can't say I can't say thank you enough, sir. Uh oh, I hear somebody coming. This will probably taste us the number two watch. Uh, what is boom? That's the sound of the houses in Baltimore. Look, yep, well, I knew it was taste us the number two. I was hungry and I just woke up. It's so funny. So he's on punishment, so he's keeping odd hours right now. He got his little bird chest out and his hair out. Anyway, I'm uh, closet full of aged stouts, barley wines, bourbon, barrel aged stouts, and some actual bourbon. I have a separate crib for IPAs and home brew, as you mentioned before. Jeez, that's for real. And a barbecue problem, you know. Oh, ha, 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 ha. hold up, hold up, hold up. All right. Uh, <laughs> he's hiding his little chest over there. Look. That right there, that right there, that's the pancake batter. Uh, that's the pancake batter. I'm, I'm, I'm turning. It's, it's back on me now, so you can, you can get up. All right. You kind of forgot the recipe. I'll take chocolate chip, please. <laughs> taste tester number two is in the kitchen. Question J says hi. Taste tester number two. Hello, everybody. All right. Got that pulled pork pancake recipe yet? Alton, Alton is asking about the pulled pork pancake recipe. He said, I don't know about that. No, Quester J, taste tester number one is the one who hooks me up with popcorn. Uh, <laughs> Grover says, hey, beefcake. <laughs> John knows what the deal. He said, pancakes. <laughs> uh does he feed dad and get us the points out of pet? No, it does not, Frio. Nah, we, we're not even talking about that. He on punishment. That means he on punishment. He don't get on punishment just for making me pancakes. Nah, bruh. He better clean the bathroom or sweep some floors and mop some. Is that what it's going to have to take? Oh, 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 listen to that. I already cleaned the bathroom over here. You should have done that. you see the bathroom trash? Yeah, but you haven't taken a. This is all part of all. Look, let's not talk about why you're in punishment. All right, all right, Mr. Fishy Isaac says, "What's up to you, sir?" Hello. Where is the? Uh, look in, look in the drawer. What did, what pen are you looking for? The, the smaller version of this. One. No. Let me see. Huge travel, but the smaller. Uh, it's probably in the drawer. Either that or mommy threw it away because the non-stick is gone. No early risk now, no JG. No, he gotta earn that early release. Kind of, but that's stainless steel, so you would have to put like butter in it. All right, we're gonna try it to make sure it doesn't stick. Can I use the? Can I use the pan? Yes. Um, all right, Alton says to uh, tell number two, I'm gonna need them grown man size pancakes to a tall stack and make them harvest grain like IHOP. Harvest grain, what harvest grain? What are you talking about? I don't know why I like that stuff. You know what? Uh, you could, I can tell you live in Austin, talk about some harvest grain. Ugh, ugh. Question J, I'm trying to get him to put some more butter in, in on these pancakes, but he talking about using Pam. We're gonna see though. Oh now he's so funny. He went and put a shirt on so he could get on camera. Alright, uh look. 
Oh, yeah, make the batter first before you turn. <laughs> Did y'all see that? <laughs> Puff of, of pancake batter. Hold on, look look at yourself on, on the screen. Look, look. Come on. Look, it's getting ready to pop up. You looking? All right, look, it's getting ready to change. Look, watch it. Poof. <laughs> Oh, it didn't get caught on camera, but I saw the puff of, of the pancake batter, or the pancake mix. Uh, number two, Alice's hook. Uncle Alton up. Punishment is good as the enforcers. Samper Fidelis. Yes, indeed. Frills is hard pass. Uh. <laughs> Kirk says harvest green sounds like bird food. Don't knock the harvest green. <laughs> says, no, you got that, yo. You and Isaac, y'all got that harvest green. Uh, trying to offset that barbecue eccentric with the harvest green. Oh, man. That's you. <laughs> Hey, Alan, I'll, I'll take your word for it. I definitely, I'll take your word for it. Oh, boy. Hold on one second. Come on. Hurry up. All right. The missus had to run past Hello, again. Uh, I'm just, uh, all right. Harvest cream pancakes from IHOP with the butter pecan syrup. Is the, uh, no, sir, man. No, sir. You need the regular pancakes with the regular pancake syrup. That's it. And that's all. Alright, that's it and that's all. I, I, I'm, again, I, look. I am, I hold true. I keep it simple. Are these the chocolate chips here? I believe so. Just make sure that there are no other chocolate chips in the in the cabinet. Before you open it. Don't open that up. This is a small container. Of? This is a small container. It's like the same thing as this, but it's just in a smaller bag. So, are the other ones open? Let me see. They're just smaller I to work with a guy. Are they sweet or semi sweet? or? They're somewhat sweet, just like that. I want to tell you to use the smaller bag first, please. That's fine. Anyway, I used to work with a guy, his name was Pop Blow. And as opposed to say as opposed to saying let me see, he was from Nicaragua. As opposed to saying let me see, he would say, Gimme see. Gimme give me give, give, give me see. Ready? Oh boy, my wife is going coming past again. And she doesn't want to be whoa whoa. I told him to use a smaller bag. I told him to use a smaller bag. No, he said there was no bag open. Of, you, no I, no, 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 I didn't get up. I was. No <laughs> I just you see what I have to deal with, right? This is this is real life. So, uh oh, here comes the missus finding the. No, I'm just making sure. Oh, you she's just making sure. She about to be on camera. She don't know it. I can't handle the. Yeah, because you know it's like 49 bags of chocolate chips open and. Stuff like that. Oh, yo, right, right. Mommy did. That's why. That's why. Look, how does she come in here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Time out. Time out. How does she come in here and know there was a bag open and went to the wrong cupboard to get it? All right. And when you know something is there, you look for it. No, bro. No, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Say it again. <laughs> Who puts chocolate chips like that's not where the chocolate chips belong, right? Is there any more room here? That's not no where the chocolate I'm sorry, I'm sorry you guys who have to hear this, but I'm sure some of you guys who have been This chips here, this We chips can't here. look we There's can't too much. We can't look. Right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't turn to me. Al Ella Alton is talking about harvest grain pancakes from IHOP. What do you have opinion, an opinion on that? What? Exactly. What is it called? Harvest grain pancakes from IHOP. So I some uh, like whole grain, harvest grain one, but I can't remember if it was IHOP 
or from Bob Evans, but they were actually good. They were actually really good. So, don't hate on Al- Alan says, buttermilk pancakes are for kids. Forget that, dog. You, and then I'll be a kid. But this kid doesn't use ketchup on anything but french fries. So, no burgers, no hot dogs. So, yeah. All right, you ready to go past? So, remember when I showed you guys the 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 happy wife, happy life? The happy wife, happy life, and, and you know, getting the basement all squared away. So, she has improved it. I bought her a TV to go down in the basement and, you know, other stuff in the basement. So, she's got the, the old futon that we had when we first moved out, when we first moved to Maryland together. She's got that set up in the basement. So, now the basement is her space. So go ahead on back to the basement. You ready to go? Yes. All right. Goodbye. Go. go. Yeah. Hurry up. Run. Three, two, one. All right. Thank you guys for. Gosh, and every time I put my finger on the on the the little thing, it becomes hazy, and I have to wipe it off. All right. So let's see. Uh, Taylor, what's up, gents? I'm late to the party. Well, it's good. Hey, Frio, you know what? Um, there is a pretty decent pancake spot, but I'll tell you, IHOP is actually pretty decent. Lost me with the flavor syrup. Yeah, Fitchy Isaac, I- I'm right there with you, man. I just need some regular syrup. Dog, just, just throw them on there. I spread them out evenly so you can, like, yeah, chocolate chip. Ugh, yeah, I'm not, no Harvest Green chocolate chip pancakes. Bourbon barrel aged maple syrup. It's fire frill says. Hold up. Uh, uh, night food ice cream. Night food. Waffles and syrup. What is night food ice cream? I uh, don't have that. Cane patch syrup is the best. Uh, oh, that's not just one of those. <laughs> no, sir. Not me. He says, uh, seems my mom wasn't able to get her some. Oh, uh, my. Si- oh, my gosh. So, Jay's. Fry seasoning. If you guys have not, and I actually want to do, I want to do a video. This is my crazy life. I have so much going on, so little time to cook on video. But I actually want to do a video of me frying, cutting up potatoes and frying them. Jay's seasoning is salty and sweet, so savory and sweet at the same time. Uh, number two, do you remember that fry seasoning? Yes. How was it? It was what? I loved it. it we need more. We need more, he says. Uh, we still have some, which is good. We haven't used it all. It was really good, Jay. So thank you very much, and Uncle Steve, for for you know putting that together, and Jay for sending it out for us, to, for me to try, us to try. It was really good. It was it was a perfect between sweet and salty. Everyone getting up to bed early, get them. <laughs> nope. This is uh, scratched up. Nope. Give me a seat. Kind of sounds like my mother-in-law. Hey, Mr. Fishy Isaac. My man was from Nicaragua, and yo, he, he just, hey, yo, he he just said the the wildest stuff. Uh, I, did the, I did the two pan thing. Uh, okay, her. good, perfect. Nah, the she shed. No, it's like the she basement there. What's up, Preston? How you doing? Hey yo, Miss Butterworth, Mrs. Butterworth. All right, Kirby Lane used to be good. All right. Uh-huh. Yes, indeed, Preston. You are late to the party, so you don't know. Uh, my laptop actually, which has finished the Microsoft update. Oh man, it looks different now. It it was going through an update, and it I couldn't use it. It's all right. He's cleaning the pan out. Yo, where's my pancake though? It's right here. Can I have a fork? Okay. Can I have my Are pancake? You judge this pancake? Before I judge this pancake, oh boy. It doesn't look good, but. I Can I have the pancake? Because it's like 11 o'clock and delicious. I've been drinking. Uh... Don't don't shoot that pancake. It's not the one. Uh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> The next one's gonna be better, but I only need one pancake. Like I don't need 49 pancakes. 
I'm sorry, y'all. I gotta, I gotta, you know, eat the pancake while it's still hot. And you know, chocolate chip pancakes don't need syrup, in my opinion. In my humble opinion. That one's gonna be better. Yes. Then why is this one mine and that one is not mine? Well, cause I always make yours first because if I. So you always mess up on mine. No, if I were gonna make mine first, then we get cold while I'm making yours. So make yours first, then make mine. Don't try to justify this with logic. Logic is logic. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. You know what it needs. Honestly, butter. It seriously. Okay. Um, do you need butter? Mm -mm. Um. Yeah, I do. Please. Yeah. Just drop the drop the chocolate chips in it. Right, oh my gosh. Oh well. I'm glad to hear that, Jay. But seriously, Jay's fry shake. It's it's really good, and and we still have some. I rationed it out because I didn't want to use it all, Jay. Like to be completely honest, that's why I still have some because I didn't just want to waste it. It really is good. <laughs> Alan says he's done. The jug got him where he can't type on the phone. Hmm. Hey, Alton, be easy. KB says Betty Crocker biscuit pancake mix. Add water, cook, and uh, drown in syrup. He said it's simple. Now this is the uh, Sam's members mark. It is delicious. It, it really is good. Sam's member mark. Members mark. The stick butter or no, the um the country crock if possible, but I also need a knife to spread. It's in the tub, probably in the second or third shelf in the body of the refrigerator. First shelf, underneath the yolk. Wait. That one, yeah, that one, Land Lakes. I'm sorry, I said country crock. I need a. Thank you. I am Smith's in here. Thank you. So that second one could be for me too, right? Yes. Perfect. The second one is looking really good. All right. Hopefully it tastes. All right. So we we're gonna get some oh, wow. butter on the. I didn't have. The yeah. burner wasn't the one. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna put the butter on the pancake. It will put the butter on the pancake, or it gets the hose again. <laughs> okay, head off to the side. Gosh. All right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Get a kid jacked up on sugar before bed, and you'll put us with That's be my dad. <laughs> so the whole thing is, he took a nap because he's gonna punish me. He can't be on his phone. You know, he has nothing else better to do than sleep. Oh, his eating schedule is off because his eating schedule is off. That's why he's coming downstairs at eleven o'clock and cooking. Uh, it's actually after eleven o'clock now. Uh, but he will eat and then go back to go back upstairs and to bed soon. And he will probably sleep and be up a little later or later in the morning. But it's cool because he's on punishment. Can't do much else but sleep. Yeah. Eat, sleep, and, uh, you know, get him on the herbs. Oh, I started reading my summer book. Mmm. He was reading his... his um, Reading, yeah. Oh. Frio said I need to add an extra week of punishment for you messing up my pancake. No. 
<laughs> That's not a good idea. What are you talking about? Yes, it is. Hey, Marcus, be easy. Jamie, I guess you're out too. Thank you very much for hanging out. No way to get good behavior points. Look, see, everyone is saying the same thing. That's no no way to get good behavior points. You're messing up my pancake. This one is already looking fire. This one is already looking fire. Everything looks fire to him. Well, yeah. Uh huh. She was watching Umbrella and came for family time tonight. Yo, Umbrella Academy, if you have not seen season two of Umbrella Academy, watch it. This one I encourage you to show. Yes. Uh, definitely. Mo Butter, baby. <laughs> All right. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, I could probably burn a little bit. Hmm. Can I have a little plate? Um, no, hold on. Oh. So, I don't know where. Mm. Thank you. You need a fork too? No, just, I just need a plate. Alright. I want the chip. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, so this one looks better. But I'm gonna flip it over to the chocolate chip side, just cause you know I want to put the butter on the chocolate chips. Wait, wait, wait! Before you start eating it, I just wanna say, look how evenly spread the chocolate chips are. With every little piece, you'll get chocolate chips. Yes. All right. So, to me, evenly spread chocolate chips is not you know. I just want chocolate chips in a pancake. Anyway. Uh, so question Jay, I'm sure if you talk to Jay, uh, from Jay's Brack and Barbecue, he might be able to get you some. It seemed like it was a test batch, and, uh, I was lucky enough to get some of the, the, um, fry seasoning, and it was good. I'm not even gonna lie, it was good. Um, and just as Taste Tester number two said, he said it was delicious. It really was. It really was. Um, and if you want, I can show you guys the label. <laughs> um, but that's about it. Because I can't do much else for you. Because, like I said, it, it was good. Um, and Jay, thank you so very much for thinking of me and sending me out some of the fry seasoning. I am greatly appreciative. I'm dressing these pancakes right now with some, some butter. Uh, I gotta make more when I get home. Go on, really rest into my brain. What else? What's up, Jay? I'm tearing into this pancake right now. Give me one moment. Gotta cut it up. Gets to get hers first. Well, Martha, hello. Thank you very much for hanging out and popping on and joining us. Going to see you all clean up. Yeah, man. Who are you telling, Taylor? I can't either. <laughs> John says, Taste Touch your cakes open up at 11 p.m. Pretty much. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, come on. My, uh, so my window's updated. And, like, my shortcuts and stuff like that is not on the, 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 come on, man. My pen stuff is not here. Now I got to put stuff back on my pen bar. What is this, man? Oh. Windows, what are you doing? You know what, let's, let's just stop this. Let's restart it. Oh, gosh. Two fridges. We bought a new one July 2nd. Still waiting. Wow. I meant to you guys in slacking. I got a new job position, but I got to let you all guys try, let you all try it. All right, well, Mark said he's still here. 
still have a full glass, well, drink up, dude. What? Uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna lie. Look. You saw me do my second fill up, but I'm about to finish this energy drink here. Uh, I'm gonna be up for a while. Yeah. Where did the ladies go on the butter? <laughs> Oh, well, dang on. Five people. I'm glad I'm part of the five. Mm. Hey, Jimmy, thank you very much for hanging out. Crimson Creek is drinking brown tonight, he said. It's just almost there on the next video. <laughs> That's so funny. I wish I could say that. Um, but no. Yo, what is up with this? E. Stay on the YouTube. Alright, you know what? Actually, I'm going to turn it off. It's it's done. Alright. Uh, when you get some extra... <laughs> Marcus says he's out of coke. This, I know what I did wrong in the first one. What? I over sprayed the pan thinking I would need more because I over sprayed the pan thinking I would need more and then it just like messed up with the edges mm. of the pancakes. Okay. And that's what I did. I tried scraping off the edges. It's alright. <laughs> Uncle Bull says making me hungry for some pancakes. He needs a fat stack. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. This is one of the advantages of uh, the live streams. Taste Tester number one hooks me up with popcorn every now and again, and Taste Tester number two hooks me up with pancakes. Chocolate chip pancakes are my favorite. I don't need any syrup, just chocolate chip pancakes and some butter. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, Ms. Martha, thank you very much. Mm -mm. What? Never ate pancakes while getting liquored. What are you talking about, Preston? You, you know, liquor and eating go hand like hand in hand like peas and carrots. shipping. Yeah, Maria, how you doing? Send me something to drink. Um, sorry, <laughs> everything's out. <laughs> Look, I'm, you don't know by now. I don't, I don't play with the drip when it comes to drinking. And look, there's a, there's a little corner of the bottle left. I'm about to try to, we we about to try to harvest that little corner of the bottle. Hold up, we go, we you know. We 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 get all of it before it goes into the recycling bin. <laughs> What are you doing over there? My pancake. Okay, so I checked it. I'm listening. And then I, I was like, okay. Turn the, turn the fan on low. Press the fan button on the bottom left. Bottom. Left. Left. This is left. Yes, press it. Oh, this thing. Yeah, turn it lower. And one more. Is that low? Okay, just so I don't hear it. But it smells like it's burning. Mm. 
Actually, I'm kind of glad he didn't burn my pancake. That's his pancake now. What was you created bad? What? Late night breakfast spots after drinking is a go to. Yes, Frio knows. Frio knows, man. Shoot. Mm. So, one of the things about that pan, number two, that's a stainless steel pan. It's not non stick, so stuff will definitely burn in it. As you are learning. <laughs> He's that no 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 use the the dish soap, not the hand soap. Yes and no. <laughs> there, so there's a little hand soap mixed in with the that's that's the hand soap. So this is the dish No. Yes and no. It's it's some hand mixed in with the dish. But where's the dish soap? Sorry, yeah, I don't know why it's over there. Just just a, a drop. That's it. Yeah, because the pan is still hot. Ah, ah. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be scared. I agree. Kirk says, what? Preston, come on. Never been to a IHOP at 3 in the morning? Slam. <laughs> you missing a life experience, brother. Dude. After proms and after like after the club close, I hop is definitely the, the, the spot. Like for real. Michael Bull says my granddaughter likes them uh, plain, no butter and any or any kind of syrup. Wow. Marcus says I'm a French toast man. Yeah, French toast is good too, but sometimes pancakes and waffles rule over the French toast. Yo, I'll tell you what though. My wife made some French toast the other day. It was a uh, Bananas Foster French toast. So good. It was so good. I might have to actually post that picture or a picture up uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day. Uh, she made this. It was Bananas Foster French toast at home and it was delicious. Waffle House here, uh, double order hash brown, smothered, covered, and scattered. I uh, can't do sweet and drink. Nah, man, Preston so Me, I get my hash brown smothered, co smothered, covered, and topped, all right? But the key is you get the double or the, the, the meat lover's chicken and eggs, and you get a double waffle, all right? And you get your hash brown smothered, covered, and topped, all right? That's my, my Waffle House order. The meat lover's chicken. My eggs over hard, cinnamon raisin toast, smothered, covered, and topped, and a double waffle. Now, my wife and I share the waffle because, you know, I get one and she gets one. And then she orders, like, a side of bacon and eggs or something like that. And that is the most economical means to get a pretty darn meal at, at the Waffle House. Like, for real. Because you get the single waffles, like, 3 or $4. You get the doubles, like, 50 cent more. Word? Say less. Uh, <laughs> Kirk says, now that's how we harvest grain right there. Uncle Bull says, always need breakfast when you're drinking. All right, Drew says, night. See you next week. Yes, indeed. It's still 97 degrees outside. Holy cow, what it's like? I can't see what the temperature is across the room. Uh, it says 78. I don't believe it. It's warmer because I'm feeling the heat from him cooking in the kitchen. <laughs> if you can't stand the heat, <laughs> get out of the kitchen. Uh, pancakes, hash browns, and two slices of Scrapple crispy on the outside, soft in the middle. Booyah! Hey, Kirk, nothing wrong with Scrapple. So you just you you're new to Scrapple. You you know you just discovered Scrapple recently. I grew up on Scrapple. And uh, for me, it's got to be beef scrapple. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Show them, show them your plate. There you go. No, 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 no. Right there, right there. So this one's it's right. all washed out. As you can see, and this one's really good. All right. Well, I you know. Sugar yeah, he he put powdered sugar on his pancakes as opposed to syrup, which is good-ish. 
Do not put syrup on there. He's getting up. I thought he was going to put syrup on it too. Kerns of Creek says bacon. Meats check. Hash browns check. Sweets nah. <laughs> Preston says, but I'm really not a sweets guy. All right, to start with, that's what's up. Any tips on cooking ribs on a propane grill? Uh, like low and slow offset, uh, indirect cooking, Jay. So if you can get some chips and make a little smoke pouch and put the smoke pouch over top of the burner that's on for your heat source and that'll help get some smoke into the um into the ribs poke a couple holes in it and like i said make a pit of a smoke pouch and that should help <gasps> pancakes with grape jelly oh, all right <laughs> Frito says, rice or no wine tonight? He's editing videos most likely, so he can't drink and edit at the same time. He only films and drinks at the same time. Eggs says, waffles here. Mmm, peanut butter and maple syrup. Both of them? It's like one or the other, Meeks. You can't do both of them. Mmm. They ruin pancakes for me with that multi grain pancake stuff. <laughs> Man, <laughs> look, Meeks. Well, Meeks is Perkins there too. You know, Meeks is also in. Uh, uh, it's not Wisconsin. Is it Wisconsin? Where are you, Meeks? It's not Idaho. It's not Wisconsin. Is it Wisconsin? No, oh, it's not Wisconsin. Here it says, uh, yes, Mrs. Dash. Uh, made my household French toast. Didn't go. All out like this stash though. Yeah, so we had some bananas and and she uh she made some bananas foster French toast. It was great. Pancakes smothered in ketchup. Yo, yo, yo. Question Jack. You you kidding, right? What's over hard? Uh over hard dude is your eggs like the sunny side up, but you flip the eggs over and you bust the yolk, that's over hard. Eggs over hard. I cannot, a fried egg, I cannot eat a runny egg. I will eat a rare steak, but I cannot eat a runny egg. Like, uh. <laughs> what I say, for real, what I say, he can't edit and drink at the same time. Nothing sets the flavor of a pancake off like some quality ketchup. Come on, son. I'm trying to make French toast with eggnog, mind blown. Oh, Victor, what? Can't stand the heat dogs in your neck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh Maria, thank you very much. Actually did I I put this kitchen in? Alright, you know, pat myself on the back. The only thing I didn't do in this kitchen was the countertops because they are marble, they are stone. And um yeah. I'm like Wisconsin? No, I can't be Wisconsin. Wisconsin? Nah. But yeah. Uh Martha says thanks for the tips. I want my son Jay to make me some ribs. Well, Yo, uh, Miss Martha, Jay can definitely make ribs, all right? I, I will tell you this. Um, if you haven't checked out Jay's channel, you should. But maybe not, because, you know, eh, Jay, I don't know if you want your mom seeing all the stuff you be doing. But um, Jay definitely can cook, okay? He, he definitely can cook. Um, and, and you know what, Miss Martha, you did a fine job. Jay, Jay definitely, he does right by his wife. He does right by Violet. And he's done right by me, all right, which is not saying much, but I want to let you know that, that you did a great job. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Definitely appreciate that. Uh, da, 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 da. Frio says, local spot here, make some crazy crème brûlée, French toast, torch, sugar, and all. Well, dang on. Hey, yo, Frio, if you've never been to Worcester and been to Holy Cannoli, go and thank me later. Uh, yeah, holy cannoli, definitely. Right, just said I can drink beer, but not wine. Get a little oopsie when I cut clips. Can't wait for Dash to see my comment. Oh boy, creamy peanut butter. What comment is that, Preston? Let's see. Oh my gosh. Freaking. We're just going to accept this for now. 
Oh yay! It 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 did put my my stuff down at the bottom of the screen back. Finally. What is this? One? All right. So I need to open up Firefox, which is great, and I'll send you guys the link. Yeah, we're going on three hours tonight. Sweet peas and lima beans, not my plate. Well, you know what? Lima beans, all right. Peas, they're all right. Yo, Preston straight dabbed on me. How he used an emoji to dab on me? Maybe I missed his his comment. Oh boy, now I'm looking back at the comments. Oh, yeah. I saw your comment about ketchup, dude. My wife doesn't like too much smoke. What do you think of rapping ribs and butts? Uh, you like to wrap and uncover at the end or smoke first then wrap? So I usually smoke first then wrap and that's about it with the exception of rat ribs and ribs I've been doing recently. <laughs> what? <laughs> he said it was so good but you couldn't mumble it like parents you guys who are parents you know how you can discern what your children are saying? when they start mumbling and they're like using they're trying to talk but they're mumbling that was what just happened with his sister number two he mumbled that this was so good that was the last piece of my pancake you know clean plate club hey number two can i give you this and put it in the sink for me please yes give me a i need you to get up i'm holding this thing out like you know i ate too much mm, come on now you had two pancakes. Yes, my stomach is full. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you heard that, right? <laughs> this is what I had to do with it. And y'all can see him. <laughs> I can see him. All right. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> This is what I had to deal with. Y'all yeah, heard that, right? <laughs> Go to bed. Good night. Mm -hmm. You are never going to lose that down. There's 27 folks that heard that. Uh, Philip Jennings says, White doesn't put too much uh, smoke. Oh, doesn't like too much smoke. We think wrapping ribs and butts. Um, this pulls all the tabs. Sorry. I'm trying to multitask here. Uh, so, Philip. I smoke my food and then I usually wrap it up and then that's about it with the exception of ribs and a couple of the ribs that I've done recently I've smoked them wrapped them and then unwrap them and I kind of let them finish I actually did some ribs the other day um, did them yesterday actually well technically oh yeah yesterday uh, for my family I, I cooked three racks of ribs and they were delicious it, it turned out great I'm trying to get the video so I can send it to you guys so you can see it. Those of you guys who are still here, uh, like I said, as a thank you for watching the live stream or being a part of the live stream, I try to send you the videos for the next day. So the, the Thursday video, you guys get to see it early. And I am copying the link right now. And let's get to the... I'm sorry. My my laptop was updating with Windows and yeah. Videos live. Uh, I'm currently live here. And survey says okay. Let's put this, this is the video for tomorrow. So those of you guys who are still here can check that out. All right, let's catch up. Uh, sorry, wife, I went crazy, but can I get a shout out for the next video? So Breaker, I can't guarantee that. The only problem, the problem is my videos are filmed in advance. Um, so I kind of have to try to remember to put you in the video, but I mean, I, yeah. You don't like her. Uh, over me and my stick burger. That's the stuff. Uh, you can't eat runny egg. Nope, 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 nope. You can runny egg for pancakes, waffles. That's those, but it gets cooked into the, you know, the thing, Maria. 
Martha says I'm a subscriber. Thank you. That means a lot. He has come a long way. I'm so proud of him. Well, we are too. I am too, especially. Um, you know, if you ask him, he tells you I'm the reason he puts videos on YouTube. I don't know about all of that now. I don't have that much power. But uh, this is way too many times. Did you have dynamite stick? Uh, no. Uh, for real. No, I have not. So, like, being raised in Philadelphia, South Philly, Italians in South Philly, the cannoli, I went to Holy Cannoli and just got a bunch of cannoli. Hey, good night, chef. It's about an hour from here. Yo, I know where Worcester is compared to where Boston is. Like, I've been there. So, uh, the, how I found out about the Holy Cannoli is I stayed in Natick, all right? And you can tell that I've been up there because I'm saying these places correctly. So, my wife went up there for, uh, like, a an audit or a training or something and this is when taste Hustle number one was like four to six months old and we flew up to, to we, we went into uh, uh did we fly into boston or we flew into um crap anyway we flew up there and we rented a car because she was going to be there for a couple of days and I was like, oh, okay, cool. You know, we were there for like three or four days. So we rented a car. And we stayed in Natick where she was uh, staying. Or, or where her thing was, where her work was. And while she was at work, I went exploring. I'm like, I'm not sitting in a hotel all that one day. So I took my son, again, who was under six months old. And we went driving around. So... I drove out to Worcester because I went online and I found this place. It was called Holy Cannoli. Well, you you had me at Holy Cannoli, all right? I am a big cannoli fan. So one day I drove from Natick out to Worcester, which was west. Natick is in between Worcester and Boston. One day I drove into Boston, all right, to kind of look around and scope some stuff out. And then that evening, I think I drove back out to Boston, and we went uh, we went to like Skipjacks is the name of the place we went to. So we went to Skipjacks and ate and had a good time. And then the next day, uh, she kind of like stayed over an extra day, and we we did like the um, the Tea Party Trail, and we, and we saw the Paul Revere statue, and we were in Little Italy, I believe. Uh, so, you know, we, we kind of did Boston, like, really quickly, though. It wasn't like we were there for hours and hour, or days on end. We were just there for a couple of hours. But it was pretty cool. Uh, running eggs, bacon on a burger? No, 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 no. I need my eggs over hard. And I burger. Mm -mm. Thank you, Marcus. I appreciate that. This is, uh... Uh, holy moly this is gonna come back we got you well i appreciate that for you definitely appreciate it uh it was it'll be one of those things where when i come back up that way i will let you know uh last time i was up that way um was with my father-in-law and and his one of his best friends on that fish trip uh we go out of uh hyenas from cape cod we go fishing. So I haven't been, I haven't been to Holy Cannoli in probably two years, maybe three years. Um, but I, maybe I can meet you at the uh, Hoodoo Brown, which is in Christfield. Okay, Christfield, I think it is. Um, and you know, I would definitely love to, to sit down and break bread there with you. So in Connecticut. Um, but I don't know how far away that is from you, but nonetheless, when I come back up that way, I will let you know. Our fishing trip this year got canceled, but, uh, you know, I'll be back up there. Over hard is the only way with cheese on an egg sandwich and a little mayo. Well, I could do without the mayo on the, on the sandwich, but yeah, you know. Ah, so, uh, Marcus Crimson, Cre or excuse me, Frio lives in the, uh, he lives in Boston or around Boston. So he lives in the Northeast. Yeah, New England. All right. He says, uh, well, he doesn't because, you know, Boricua. And he doesn't have that Boston accent, but he's definitely a beer guy.
Hey, Quester J, good evening. Oh, man, yo, we are closing in on three hours. Uh, yeah. All right, those of you guys who are still hanging out, I posted the video for tomorrow one more again. Uh, for you who have not, uh, you know, checked the video, please check out the video for tomorrow. Greatly appreciate it. And let's see. Nope. Thank you, Bumpy. I appreciate that. Oh, boy. Anyway. All right. Hey, Ricer, be easy, man. Thank you so very much. Miss Martha, thank you so very much for hanging out with us tonight. Or, you know, me tonight and Jay. I, I really do appreciate it. Uh, Jay, thank you for allowing your mom to hang out with us. Uh, you know, yeah. That was awesome. Miss Martha, seriously, again, you, you, you done good. All right, you done good. Jay, Jay, he's a good guy. All right, like, he's been watching my channel for quite a while, and, you know, we help each other. Um, and if you can get the seasonings off the ground, like I said, hey, hey, Miss, Miss Martha, be proud of him. Okay, be proud of him. Marcus, who was supposed to have left an hour ago, is still here. He says, take care of every take care of everyone. Well, look, Miss Martha, I speak highly of him and he speaks highly of me because, you know, real recognizes real. Okay? And I mean, he's a cool cat. I, I like Jay. I like Jay a lot. Uh signing out, you're greatly appreciated. Well, William, thank you very much, man. William, uh, hopefully you can let me know. How you like Uncle Steve shakes? Um, if he when or if he sends you something. Maria says, "Okay, take care, Dash. Everyone in the chat, cool, live minus the dis on the runny eggs, Dash. Jk, stay safe. Look, I'm telling you, man, it's nothing. I just don't do runny eggs. It's that, that's it. You know, I, I don't do runny eggs. I will eat a rare steak, but I can't eat runny eggs. You know, I, it's this it's the science behind it. You know, it's the salmonella and eggs and raw eggs. I just Nope, not me, not me. <laughs> uh, made another one. Shoot. Hey. All right. Goodness gracious, I am done. It, it is. It's going on three hours, yo. So, hey, Ricer, you still here? Three hour live stream. What you got, buddy? And and I was, I've been sitting here the whole time. I didn't get up and go pee once. Hey Victor, thank you so very much. Uh, definitely appreciate you checking in. Uh, you know, I know I understand that every time you don't always have signal. Hey Stephen, thank you so very much. This is good night, all. Stay safe and be good, people. Yes, yes, yes. I greatly appreciate all of you guys. I, I mean, I, I can't say thank you enough. All right. So Pause is going to go out. All right. So we gotta. And I got some, some some work to do here. All right, guys. This is it. And that is all. If you haven't already hit that thumbs up, please do on your way out. I would greatly appreciate it. Kirk says good night, y'all. Until next Wednesday. Yes. Thank you, sir. Kirk, be easy. Uh, definitely take care. He messed up and acknowledge it. You're yeah, about to burst in. Oh, no. That, dude, Preston, I'm, I'm good. Like... I'm good. I, I, I went to pee right before I started, <laughs> but uh, you know, I'll be I'll be sitting here for another couple minutes. Not that much longer, but another couple minutes. I have to uh, add the cards and the end screen on the video for tomorrow, so I'm going to do that tonight, so I don't have to get up so early in the morning. Anyway, thank you guys again. Look, we got a minute and thirty seconds, so I'm gonna BS for another minute and thirty seconds, so I can get the three. I hit the three hour mark, but. Um, yeah, note to self, energy drinks, they actually work. When you don't drink a lot of energy drinks anymore, see, I think that's the problem. I used to get two energy drinks because they're two for $3. I used to get two of them and drink two of them, like, in the mornings almost all the time. And I felt like they never kept me awake. But when you haven't had an energy drink for quite some time, woohoo! Yeah, buddy. It is 11 o'clock, and I am, I haven't, you know, I, oh, I almost said it. Oh, I almost said it. 
I did not do the Y word one time. Oh. Finish. All right. Oh, gosh. I, 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 yeah. All right. So, hey, Kurt, she hadn't flipped the eggs over yet. So, Kurt replied to, I, I posted a picture on Instagram earlier. And uh, it, it was it was some eggs on a griddle, and my wife hadn't flipped them over yet. Anyway, I know Maria. I I, I I know I know. I wanted to try to hold off for three hours, but I said it, and and that's what it got. Oh gosh! See what happens? You can't say the Y word because then it happens. All right, guys. Yes. All right. Uh, yeah, three hours. Thank you guys so very much for hanging out. I'll see you guys next week. Yes, that is the Y word. You can't say you can't say the Y word, Maria. Just you can't say the Y word because then it happens. And you see, it was like right on cue. Said the Y word, then it happened. All right, guys. I am out. I'm gone.